questions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewellery designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash getstartedwithjm where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to Jewellery Maker? For a limited time we're offering new customers a wonderful free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful genuine gemstone strands in an organza bag. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will be automatically added to your order when you make your first purchase. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, colour and type will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your gemstones, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. If you're looking for the perfect gift this year, then choose the Jewellery Maker gift voucher. Available in £10 and £50 denominations. Contact us now on 0800 644 655 and give the gift of choice this Christmas. The Jewellery Maker phone is free from a UK landline, so call us today to place your order. Here at Jewellery Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Welcome to Jewelry Maker on this. Sparkly Saturday! I've purposely not sparkled so that when I add sparkle you will see sparkle because sometimes you can't go out and get a new sparkly dress can you? You want to zhuzh up your little black dress so today that's exactly what we're going to be doing we are adding so much sparkle so much shine and the guest designers to bring it all to us is the wonderful Hannah Osborne! How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, not bad at all. Talk to us about sparkles. Sparkles. Well, who doesn't love sparkles? Um, I've got some amazing, uh, lovely sparkly things in my kit. So I've got uh, one of them on, which is later on, and another one here. Um, and very, very different from each other. So yeah, they are. something for everything. Everything, everyone. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't, my, this, like the, the first kit I think is all the classic colours that I normally go for, so kind of peacock themed, you know. Um, and the second one a bit more uh, delicate, yes. shall we say. This first kit you are going to adore. It is a magical kit. This for me is the type of kit you're going to get home and you are going to cherish those moments where you stick on a nap Christmas film, you sit down, you relax, you, you put your, I don't know, your, your uh, tea in the oven, it's cooking away and you just sit and luxuriate in your crafting. It is a beautiful kit, Hannah. Thank and you. what you've done with it is amazing. Thank you very much. Um, Hannah actually helped make this kit. Yes. You kind of made them both for yourself, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to get true inspiration from the gorgeous Hannah. You may well have noticed I've actually got a little bit of sparkle on already. Mm -hmm. This is uh, a pair coming up for you. The chain. Star buying this hour. And this incredible amber pendant. The internal sparkle in this historical piece is amazing, I think it's safe to say. 
this is coming up for you as well because I do have a mini amber showcase including the likes of the amber bees which whoa out the door I've got some of those as well as some other creatures that I know you're gonna absolutely love and adore as well as that I have got coming up for you a pretty special today's must have which is a brand new strand of amber which has never been seen outside of a kit the kit itself RRP 99 pounds and 80 pence the strand that I'm going to do for you alone, nowhere near that in price. So it's really special. That's going to be launching for you at 8 o'clock for today's must have. I've also got an under £10 an hour and I'm going to kick right in and start it for you right now. I'm going to start off by bringing to you some must haves. Bolt ring class. These are going to go perfect with Pantone 2019, don't you think? Because this is the metallic version, isn't it? Have you got that slide actually for me, Kerry? Oh my gosh, Kerry, it's like one mind that we share. Thank you. Um, I'm going to bring for you these beautiful rose gold sterling silver bolt clasps. Now, Pantone, as you may or may not know, are the Colour Institute. Their uh, Pantone come up with colour palettes that are looked up by pretty much everybody in any kind of fashion industry um, or any trend industry. Uh, people and companies that will look at it will be in fashion. They will be in home decor. You know, even like kind of your on-trend paint colours that come in for your home, a lot of the time they will have derived from the Colour Institute of Pantone. And this this is their 2019 colour. The beautiful living coral colour that you have here. Now that beautiful fresh colour really awakening. You can see in the description uh, by um, one of the people from Pantone it talks about how it is sort of a, a it has heartening qualities and about the fact that it's uh, you know quite a um, natural colour in quite a digital um, world. So this is the kind of colours that we are knowing now that we are going to be seeing over the next few months. This, I think, is the metallic version of it, isn't it? So you've got here your beautiful blush, almost coral rose gold. You're going to be getting 10 of these in total. I'm making them under 10 for you today. £5.95. You use these, of course, as your clasps. You use these to add on um, charms. You can use these as individual pieces if you so wish. You have got a lot to do with these. And because you've got the aperture that's in a different uh, direction, sits nicely as well. So you don't have to necessarily worry about adding on an extra jump ring to make it lie correctly. So very, very useful indeed. They do exactly as they um, are meant to. They are the trigger variety as well, which essentially means that when you pull that section back and you let go of it, it will trigger straight back forward to you. I know that seems like a silly thing to mention, but I have seen quite a few class recently where you pull them back and you have to sort of push them forward. Not with these ones. £5.95. pence. We have got so much coming up for you in my under £10 hour. So I'm going to try and get through these as quickly as I can. If you could do me a favour, that would be brilliant. If you can, um, if you see anything you like and you pop it in your basket, if you can just check out sooner rather than later, it means I'm allowed to move on a bit quicker because basically you know sometimes when we sit here and we go please check out please check out please check out it's because if there's a big portion of you with it in your basket we can't move on because we're kind of wondering you know right are they going to check out or, or not is there an issue blah 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 so just to let you know um, that would be really useful. Let me show you whilst I'm here actually, a star by, where's that pot gone? Star by coming up in a bit. These are beautiful pearls so 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 pretty multicolored actually a touch of the corals about these as well oh, what do you think of that amber it's pretty special isn't it eight o'clock Okay, let me bring to you some threading material now, not any old threading material, your silk. This is your genuine natural silk. It's your size number six, so you're looking at around about a seven mil, aren't you? Um, these are good for your big gemstones. These are good for your gemstones that you want to place a knot in between. For example, maybe something like this. 
going to have a large enough drill hole for it, as you can see right there, placing a knot in between each and every one of these. And it's a beautiful shade, a really lovely colour. Um, £1.95 is your deal on this one today. I have genuinely bought the exact same brand in a different colour before £6.99 for one pack. So our prices are astonishing. And this colour is beautiful. And today my guest designer is um, someone who loves a bit of colour. Um, what do you like about this kind of colour, please? How, why is this a good colour to work with, do you think, Hannah? neutral for me I mean so I, I think it's like it's not going to scream at you so it'll blend in with so many different things um, mm. if you want to use it um, to kind of, sort of tone something down a bit it's going to just take the, the, the sort of the volume if you like of some mm. of the colors down a bit mm. but also if you've got something that's very very um, calm and cool anyway yeah it just blends with it so it might be that you've got um, you might have like a black, but you like you can't. Not everybody can wear a black. So yeah. if you just have this kind of neutral colour in there as well, it softens it slightly. Yeah, it's quite a classic combination. Or you might have something like uh, Botswana Agate would look lovely oh, with it as well. For it, yeah, which has got more sort of um, sort of smoky tones to it. So yeah. I think that that picks up nicely as well. Mm. But it's just the neutral, isn't it? It's like it can it can kind of go anywhere you want it to. Yeah. Um, and it just it balances a lot of things. I think balance is the perfect word that mm. you've used there. It really does. It balances things out. Um, because we were talking about neutrals, I'm thinking of nature. I think for the size of this and the size of the drill holes on these amber, I think that works surprisingly well, actually. You don't have to go OTT over the top with something like that. I think that just works quite harmoniously. Um, uh, we did the other day some of this and it was so incredibly popular. I am about to bring to you your elasticity. Yep, we love our elastic here at Jewelry Maker and this is elasticity. This one is your one mil thickness. So if you've got anything big, beautiful and chunky that you want to create with these, this is perfect. Now we've seen a lot of stretchy bracelets being on trend of late and if you keep your eyes on the catwalk, you will know that 2019 has a bit of a trend for um, like stretchy gemstone chokers. This is going to be perfect for that, much thicker than your average um, elastic that we get. Very, very, very strong, very secure. And because it is that thicker one, it's less likely to lose its bounce, you know, over a time that things like this can stretch out, less likely to do it here. Told you on the back exactly how to knot this off beautifully, and you're getting it all for just £5.95. And that is for 25 meters. So that is a really big, big amount, actually, isn't it? 25 meters. Yeah, you do get loads. And actually, I've done loads of stretchy bracelets and things with um, children at the moment. So I, I did a, an amber anklet, actually, for a friend's oh, child who's nice. got teething problems. Oh, that's lovely. Um, so I don't know if it works or not, but a lot of people a believe lot of people it does. Do say and that. I know yeah. we've got amber coming up, so may, maybe it's something to team with that. That's um, a great but also idea. stretchy bracelets with the kids because we've got like Christmas coming up. Things to keep them busy. You can just have a load of loose beads and some of this lovely elastic, and they can all get involved. And then everyone runs around with something they've made for the day, and they feel so proud of themselves. And that is such a yeah. brilliant, brilliant idea. It keeps them busy for it a little does. bit. It keeps them going. <laughs> and the fact that you've created something beautiful at the end as well. Yeah. So you're getting a full 25 meters worth here, which really will last you. It will go on and on. Hello to you all. Lovely to have you on board with us today thank you very much for getting involved it's great to have you on board if you have got any questions for the lovely hannah feel free to text him also of course don't worry if uh, you uh, maybe just want a bit of a weekend brag do feel free to do that too um, we'd love to hear from you at 60777. Start your text with the word JM Studio and uh, you can get involved with us. We'd love to hear from you. Um, yes, brilliant under £10 section we're in now. There are a few boxes besides me which we will get through. Uh, there are some gemstones in this hour as well. Now, do not forget that today, if you spend £35 and you use the code YOURTREAT, capital letters, you get a fiver off. £5 back in your pocket. So, let's add, because if you're thinking you're getting that £5 back in your pocket, obviously we're doing our under £10 hour here, there's going to be stuff that you could be getting for free. 
and this is one of them. There you go, £4.95. So if your basket's already at £30, add this one in, you're getting a fiver off with that code and uh, you're getting this for free. And this is not just any, you know, free item. Sometimes you get sort of, oh, hello. Oh, hello, the arrows are in. Two pounds. This is a genuine gemstone. Remember, I was just going to say then, it's like free gifts that you get and you think, I didn't really want that as a free gift, to be honest. You know, like rubbishy free gifts. I was in, um, I was at an event the other day and they had, um, a mystery free gift when you spend over 40 pounds. And, um, it was like a little, like uh, felt stocking it looked like the type of thing you might have got from a you know pound shop um but yeah sometimes you get things and you think i don't really need that or fancy that but with this and with that code you're going to be getting this for free and you've still got another three pounds to spend of your freeness you have got totally natural green adventure in here and i think that green is so fresh it's a beautiful beautiful green it's unlike any other green it's not as acidic as peridot it's not as dark as maybe chrome diopside it's not as um, green on green, if that makes sense. Is that on emerald? Okay, can I just let you know low stock on this now? I have two available and that is it, two only. Uh, it's two pounds, well done, good luck to you all. I've got to be quick on the ball for that one, really quick. Let me bring to you some really genteel... Wow. Let me show you. Have a look at this. How gorgeous is this as a strand? We were talking about the neutrals, weren't we? The neutrals and the delicate colours. What you've got here is your incredible chocolate agate. It is going to go wonderfully. Oh with so many of your gemstones. Again, it's a mother nature color, it's natural beauty. But what you have with this, which I don't think we tend to see that often on an agate, is facets. I will bring you a lot of um, agate maybe on cabochon or it's a plain shape and design, maybe plain rounds for example, but you've got added sparkle here. So this is your sparkle for those people who love a little bit of glitz but maybe do want to be too showy. This maybe is the type of thing you uh, pop into a bracelet or you get a couple, you pop one into a bracelet a ring and then you do a necklace and this is the type of thing maybe you wear like on Christmas Eve night you know where you're kind of just maybe wrapping the final few gifts or maybe you're you know prepping for your your uh, lunch the next day that type of thing that you've got a little glass of something in your hand there are a few family members over you're taking a few photos you don't want to be OTT glitz and glam because that's all about Christmas Day but you still want to have a little bit of something sparkly about you I think this is the perfect way to do that and lovely if you go on like your Christmas walks as well, you know, that Mother Nature kind of feel. £3.95, I do have to move on because I've got loads to fit in. Fireline I'm bringing now. You've worked with Fireline quite a lot. Tell me what yeah. you like about Fireline like this, please. Oh, I just I just love it. I mean, I'm, I'm obsessed with seed beading, as you know, um, and I, I just, it's part of my essential toolkit now is to have some Fireline and some needles um, sort of everywhere I go almost. I've yeah. just got some in my handbag even. It's getting really, really bad. But <laughs> no. uh, <laughs> sewing needles, I'll point that out. <laughs> being, being questioned, it's like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah it's fantastic it's, uh, it's really really useful it's really really strong you don't have to do intricate weaving you can just thread with it if you want to it's also handy if you've got little uh, holes in your clothes to sew up <laughs> yeah I, I wouldn't recommend doing that because you can use any cotton for that but it's just handy <laughs> so sturdy it really is this I always think this is almost magical but this very, very fine looking cord and you know, you hit the nail on the head there. When you look at this, I think for the first time you think, well, do you know what? I stayed at an hotel in 1999 and uh, got a free sewing kit from there. That'll do. I'll use the cord in that. The fact of the matter is that although this looks very similar, it is completely different. It is a bonded material and that fine, fine layer there can hold 
up to eight pounds of weight. So pretty incredible what we're dealing with here. You have got here 50 yards for nine pounds and 95 pence. So you've got a really good price point there for what you're getting. And actually I did a little bit of um, research earlier on and to find, I found the exact same uh, quantity and the exact same, the exact same amount basically. And um, I found one for uh, 27 pound 82, one was 19 pound 77. The lowest price one I could find, and by the way, this does doesn't include potion packaging was um 12 pound 7p so i was at 9.95 really is a fantastic deal and remember if you spend over 30 uh, five pounds today we give you that five pounds off with your treat code uh, which is in capitals so um it's well worth getting your hands on it if you are running low because it's the type of thing that um if you run out you know about it you know about it um, so do feel free to grab this whilst you can well done to you all um, well please do just stay on those phone lines we are aware that you're um, in a little bit of a wait but, but we're talking less than a minute so we'll be answering you very soon there you are I wondered where that is there you go close that up so um, £9.95 pence is your closing deal on that and you can use this with its strength with things even as large as this which is another star buy actually this star buy is coming up for you um, a little bit later on it is written down in front of me but I can't read fast enough 5.30 5.30 this is coming up approximately 9.30 it's past 5.30 isn't it <laughs> past 5.30 do you know what though? I've had such a lovely chilled out day. I didn't even realise what time it was. What did I do today? Uh, sat in, watched last night's Sam Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. And uh, um, did a bit of shopping online. You know. Well, I didn't. I did a bit of like window shopping online. Yeah. You know, cool stuff. But it was so relaxing, I didn't even realise it was that time already. Um, 9.95, I am moving on. Someone's asked about the boxes, so we'll do them now, says Wayne. Wayne, where are we starting? <laughs> Is it the large green or the large pink we're starting with, Wayne? Large green. Okay, we'll start with the large green for you. Storage, we love ye. Especially at this time of year. Especially. I'm gone. Open. Open. Ten divisions, organised box. This time of year, it is so important to be neat and tidy. And I know this sounds ridiculous, but I genuinely think it saves you money. I genuinely really, really do. Myself as a crafter, I'm a bit of a um, messy. I'm a messy crafter. I can't help it. I always try and be really, really good, but I, I can't help it. My crafting things, I'll, I'll do a project and then I'll get, you know, I might finish it or I might not. And then it all just goes into one box or just one place. And then I'll need it for a different project and I'll look for something else. The amount of times that I have actually gone to create something and gone, oh, I really need... X, Y, and Z is a clasp for that. I'm sure I had that somewhere. Sure I had that somewhere, and I can't find it. So we'll just order another one, and then you know it's like you get the delivery through, and sure enough, you find the clasp that you were thinking of. But when you are organised, it really can save you time, effort, and energy. This is the largest box that we're offering you today. So if you are the type of crafter who has large things, so I'm thinking in here, um, you know, you can get your. Um, I've got like pots of acrylics that I can put in here. I can get my paint brushes in sections. Um, if you've got any kind of crafts that are maybe a bit large for example I don't know say you're a seamstress you want to put your bobbins and things in here your needles then it's going to keep you very very organized indeed trust me on this I'm sure you're going to be gifted something that you're going to want to keep nice and tidy over the next couple of weeks so get these now they're very very sturdy it's four pounds and 45 pence that you've got on here and just to let you know too that if you are a polymer clay artist you can keep your polymer clay in here you don't have to worry about it eating in because um, sometimes polymer clay if you put it in like uh, the wrong type of boxes it will actually eat away at the box itself this one you do not have to worry about that at all it's also of course got your clear lid so you can see exactly what's going on with it and one thing I will say is if you want to multi-purchase them hang on then you absolutely and completely can and let me pop them there. if you stack them up 
you can see you've got the little nook in here and you've got the little feet on the bottom one. So that means that they sit in together. See the little feet and then you've got the little nook in down here. So when you pop them one on top of each other, they really do stay in place. And that doesn't seem like much, but when you stack them all up, if you haven't got that, it only takes you to try and get one out and they all Leaning Tower of Pisa everywhere. Um, so well done multi buyers on that one. I presume we're doing the pink version now, are we? Um, love this colour. What is it good for you with storage? Why do you like storage, please? Well, I, I have hundreds and hundreds of little tubes of seed beads and things, but not the full ones, the part ones. So, I, so you know, you get all these lovely towers and you have all your, your full yeah. tubes of seed beads yeah. in there. Yeah. What do you do with the part ones? I put them into smaller boxes and then put those into something like this. And I, it just keeps them all in the same place. So Clever. if you just need a few for embellishment or something, yeah. you just go and get that out and you've yeah. got all of your colours without having to hunt for them. Yeah, of course. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. It, it does save you time. And it again, does. if it something's does. saving you time in the crafting world, I think it's more likely that you're going to make something successful. And again, that could just be me, but... £4.45 again. For me, if I come up with an idea, I want to make it there and then sometimes. I want to make it there and then. And if I'm too busy kind of looking around and can't find it, I kind of lose interest in the idea, I move on to something else, or, you know, the doorbell will ring and you have to do something adulty. Um, but yeah, with these, <laughs> it's all going to be there. Yeah, you know, like the, the postman pops over and you have to, uh, you know, like pay your bills or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, how do I pay bills? Well, you get your bill, don't you? And then you have to go online and do it all. I'm still on paper, I am. I am. Or someone goes and rings on your doorbell and they're here to read the gas meter or whatever. <laughs> that is true. Do you mean it's sounding worse and worse? It's true. What happens? <laughs> anyway, £4.45 for you today. Keep yourself lovely and organised because uh, you've got your lovely sturdy box here. Um, so do feel free to grab it. And again, if you want to multi purchase, you can. Also, this would be I know we're talking about crafting, but actually, think about you know your kids' room and the toys and toys and toys they have. And if they collect little figurines and things like that, there's a member of um, my family that, oh, it's it called War of, is it War of Warcraft? Or World of Warcraft, yeah. yeah. and they're little yeah. figurines that you paint and, and stuff. Warhammer 40K and things yeah. like that. My brother used to do all of that. Oh my that's gosh, get that. you! <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've been there trying to paint these tiny little orcs and things, trying to help him build his army. I know all about that. <laughs> I love that about you. Um, but yeah, they are. You write the tiny little figurines and you get these special little pots of paint and minis good little thing stuff like this again keeping it all nice and organized or also if you are Cake maybe decorations as well beautiful idea mm. maybe as well if you are going to someone's house for the christmas period and you're taking a youngster with you and they want to take certain toys with them imagine getting all of your um legos etc popping them all in here then you, you've got you know a full you could make a fair few amount of things with something filled like that couldn't you would you take all the different colors in the different ones maybe that could just be me i probably wouldn't even do that and um, four pounds and 45 pence good work this is the only pink one that i have for you today if you want some more greens i've got smaller ones coming up for you so you decide obviously you could maybe get a pink box for your cake decorating a green box for your gardening whatever it might be I'm now going to do the six divider box for you. Do, 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 oh, sorry. What song was that? Do, 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 Oh, I the don't point know. is, my direct's going anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Six compartments I've got here for you now. So for you maybe slightly smaller items, these are going to be perfect if you are um, into your little pieces, your little crafts. Maybe great for your findings. You could have your earring wires here, your crimps, your crimp tubes, your um, crimp covers, your head pins maybe, and what else might you need? Uh, your chains, whatever. 
£1.95 for that box. And again, very, very sturdy indeed for you. And it is very stackable too. Not long to wait on this chain that I'm wearing. And the pendant's coming up for you too. Your beautiful belcher chain is coming up for you. There it is. Woohoo! And yes, it is in this hour. So that should give you an idea of where we're going to in price. Or should it? Um, so yeah, £1.95 on this one for you. It's a beautiful box for you to just keep everything nice, neat and in order. I'm going to do the 12 divider now. So again, smaller projects, but lots and lots and lots of them. Um, let me show you up. Here you go. For your stationery, for your um, little cutters, for example. Maybe even for your done pieces. You know you made pieces? So let's say you're going to a craft fair and you've made, you know, a few pendants. Pop them all in there, you're ready and raring to go, aren't you? Or even if you are going um, to something like a craft fair again and you've maybe got a few of the exact same things. So let's say you put your wish bracelets in here. So let's say I do a set of star wish bracelets, harsh wish bracelets, you know, bees, whatever it might be, wish bracelets, and I do a few of them in each pot. Then when someone comes and buys the star wish bracelet, I've got another one here that I can then top up on. It is your 12 box carrier you can see the depth of that it's going to carry uh, plenty in there and it is just two pounds 45 for you remembering today that when you spend 35 pounds you get that fiver off uh, with the code your treat so do make the most of that today whilst you have it available to you and let me just remind you as well as i'm speaking of uh, kind of charms and things like that i have some incredible pieces coming up for you today really stunning Um, and I've got brand new by itself. I love this. I mean, this is too decadent, really, but hey, it's up to you. It's Christmas. If you can't treat yourself for Christmas, when can you? Louisa texted him saying, Thanks for doing the boxes. And Wayne says, You are welcome, Louisa. Hey, up, Wayne, how are you, Treacle? Yeah, one word to describe your day thus far. Eventful. Eventful. A bit busy? Always busy, he has. Supping brews through straws. He's forgotten. He's forgot his straw today though, haven't you? Forgot his straw today, not cool. Kerry, how are you, love? How was your holiday? Yeah, she's uh, been off to the land of the mice again Disney she's been to Disney I'm just gonna say it she's been to Disney she's back what about yourself Maisie one word to describe your day my love um, yes. good brilliant which funnily enough same word you used last time I asked you <laughs> which was yesterday I like it I like it Paul <laughs> what about yourself my love All right. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Gosh, you lot should be poets. It's just too much. <laughs> anyway, £2.45 for you today. I've got one more to bring you, I think. One more of this variety, and it is your two divider. Now, this has got the largest section in it um, in, in length terms. So you're getting two different sizes here, which I think is perfect for many a reason. This could be your carry your, you know, um, paint brushes and your paint pots or whatever in here. What would you do with this one, please? I'm just wondering if you could use it as like a snack box or something like that for the kids at school. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I'd probably fill it with seed beads knowing me, but it's just, it's because it's got the larger compartment, you can just put your sandwiches in there if you want. Yeah. And then some grapes in the other bit or something like that. Yeah, I like that. Works. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm just thinking of other foods. Yeah. I think I might top you on this one, Anna. What about breadsticks, bit of hummus? Oh, yeah, that sounds perfect. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? You can use it for absolutely and completely whatever you want to. It is yours. Um, so do grab it whilst you can. And let me just tell you 
that in mere moments I will be bringing to you the chain. So do stay exactly where you are uh, because we're going to be doing it in a moment or two. Two pounds and 95 pence. We are going to do the pearls next. These pearls are absolutely divine. The colour on them is sensational. Um, we have got for you something very, very sleek, very, very smooth, and we are bringing it to you at an exceptional deal. It's interesting, I think, because I understand it's quite easy to become nonchalant about prices that we do here at Jewelry Maker. But just cast your mind back before you found Jewelry Maker and just think truthfully to yourself how much you were expecting pearls to be. I was watching something the other day and I genuinely cannot remember what it was. I think it was some sort of reality TV show. And um, in it, um, they'd, they'd been given a bracelet, a pearl bracelet, and it was just like this group of women standing around like, oh my goodness, oh my gosh, I can't believe he spent that much on you, da 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 And I was thinking, do you know what, I'm well aware that here at Jewelry Maker that we can do a bracelet worth for, you know, seven, eight pounds, can't we? What I'm bringing to you now is, and should be, so much above the price I'm about to do. But what we like to do here at Jewelry Maker is give you the absolute base price for the absolute premium of qualities. And the fact that I'm about to bring to you natural colours of smooth pearls makes this under £10 deal even more impressive. Stop by. They truly are beautifully smooth. The Orient on these is really wonderful. It really, really is. Um, not higgledy-piggledy and lumpy-bumpy, which we want in certain pearls, but not in this variety of pearls. We want this variety of pearls to have that smoothness and finesse about it, and it does. The interesting thing about this is Mother Nature obviously has had to work very, very hard to be able to create these. Um, Mother Nature, with the help of, of mankind, of course, we no longer essentially uh, dive for pearls in the ocean. Um, we don't do that because essentially it's detrimental to, to uh, the planet. Um, so we use these via cultivation. That's how you will get all of your pearls basically um, right now. And what we have with this is real beauty and real quality and and we've also got that natural aspect of color to it so we know that we're getting the beauty of it being cultivated which is now you know leaps and bounds above where it was say in the 60s um, but also with this we're getting the natural colors now the natural colors aren't there from any dye they are there from uh, alignments and alterations in the aqueous environment that will impose that color upon them and the thing is, all of that takes time too. So not only is the cultivation process time consuming, it took years and years and years and decades and decades for us to get it up to scratch. So much so actually that even like the best, some of the best um, gemologists in the world cannot tell you the difference in a hand-dived pearl and a uh, cultivated pearl now unless they uh, use an x-ray mach machine to see the nucleus. That's the only way you can do it nowadays. Um, but also we've gone to that extra time and effort of making sure that these beautiful natural colours are as pure as they are and they really are they have an evenness to them which is divine but then there's also the workmanship of the stranders of this stone so what we've had to do is we've had to take every single one of these stones make sure they are the right colors with the right sheen in the right size we've had to drill each pearl twice once in uh, to one side and once into the other and then we've had to strand them in order and the order you've got here is this beautiful purple with a crisp white with a peachy colour, more of your champagne col colours, all in order. So, the job is made easy for you. Restrand it on your fire line that I did for you earlier on. Pop on one of your rose gold clasps. Two bracelets or a full necklace. No longer at the hundreds of pounds that we would expect before we found Jewelry Maker. If you want to get dyed pearls, fake pearls, you know, um, glass pearls, you will still pay a premium. I actually saw the other day a strand of glass pearls, um, necklace length, £65. And they were just glass pearls. And they were on a Black Friday discount deal at £65. 
This is a real, genuine strand that, with the use of this and these, you could make up 2BA necklace, which honestly, very easily, you could be selling for triple figures because it's precious metal, it's beautiful natural colour pearls. Today, your closing price for genuine, beautiful pearls, just £7.95 for that quality, for that beauty, for that finesse, for that work. As I say, you know, decades and decades of history going into uh, kind of learning how to look after those mollusks so well and bring you that beauty. This is £7.95. £7.95 is the type of price you will pay if you're nipping, say you're going to nip down your local high street and you're going to, you know, we all get that kind of point of fatigue, don't we? After we've been out shopping, especially when it's, you know, busy. I was uh, down the local shops earlier on this afternoon and there were just people everywhere, absolutely everywhere. It's that time of year, isn't it? But honestly, like, it was crowded. I had to park, like, um, two um, car parks over because it was absolutely packed. It was really, really just bustling everywhere. But it is that kind of price at 7 95 It's the type of price that if you do go down um, to, you know, uh, on a busy Saturday to your local city or whatever, that is the type of price that you will stop off at sort of, you know, 12.30ish. You'll sit down, you'll grab yourself a nice large coffee and a muffin and you'll spend 7 95 on that. And it's done and dusted. This is pearls with decades of history, decades of, of trial and error. And the quality of this strand in particular is beautiful. And also, can I just mention, I think this is a really usable size as well. Because if this were two millimetres larger, I would be saying necklace, necklace, necklace. If this was two millimetres smaller, I'd probably be saying, you know, bracelets, bracelets, bracelets. But with this size, I can say necklace size, bracelet size. It's not too chunky. I hate anything over an eight mil on my wrist. It's just too chunky for me. Um, and I'm also saying pair of earrings. It's that kind of size, isn't it? And seven pounds and ninety-five pence. It's a great price, isn't it? Definitely. That's that's one to like snap up, and then if you don't gift it to somebody else, you can make yourself something for Christmas, can't you? Of course you can. <laughs> and people are going to see that you are working with mm. pearls. Pretty special. Well done to one and all. It's a really beautiful strand. Do not forget, I've got this coming up for you as your next star buy. Not long to wait on this one. The Belcher chain. It's going to go under a tenner. And then later on, as part of my Amber Showcase, I've got this incredible, dynamic Amber pendant coming up for you too. Um, I'm going to bring you a little bit more storage if you'd like. Okay. I'll bring to you your stack of drawers. These, I think, are so brilliant because they are multifunctional. So, first things first, um, one thing that I know can scupper a few people is if you try and open it, you're thinking, oh, it's too stiff, it doesn't work properly. They only open from one side, so they open from this side with no issue whatsoever. Um, it's upside down, there you go. They open from this side, no problem whatsoever. And you have got all of these little clear boxes which just slide in and out absolutely beautifully for all of maybe your little findings, your odds and ends of seed beads, etc. But not only do they come apart like that, they also slide apart. They are. They also slide apart beautifully for you. So you can take them off so they are all absolutely and completely individual or you can stack them all up so they're all in one big piece. So you've got a real useful um, collection that way around. You've got a really, really useful collection here that you can use as and when you need. You might just want to use one of the boxes um, to take, I don't know, a little set of your... Um, small tea pins let's say with you um, or you might have a whole heap of things you want to take with you you can take them apart and use them as you want we have got here 10 pieces for you and it's just three pounds and 95 pence and they do all stack on top of each other they all um, slide one into another and you can see the little um, rivets let's say at the side what would you be putting in ones like this Hannah um, well, I think you've already covered it, really. So, like, it's going to be findings, or it's an end, end of uh, beads, like seed beads. So, where you just got like a few left in the tube, and you don't want to like have the whole storage tube there. You can pop them in there and see all your colours without any difficulty. That's a nice idea. And you don't have to wade through all the tubes then, and it's, they're just there, aren't they? Yeah, they are. And probably even store them in like rainbow fashion as well. So, all your blues together, all your greens together, things like that. Rainbow fashion. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> just thinking too, if you did get any of the boxes. Oh, look, one, two, three, four, five. So you get five of them in there. 
Your boxes in your box. So you're getting five of them in that section. You could probably pop another one in there, to be honest. Um, you know, again, if you are going away and you want to make sure all your seed beads and everything you're taking right with you, then perfect. Put your backing foundation maybe in here, your cabochons. Um, so, for example, if you wanted to do the design that Hannah's doing in her first sort of peacock-inspired um, kit, something like this would be perfect. So you put maybe some of your Swarovski cup chain in here, some of the seed beads colours in here, and then you put in your backing foundation your cabochons, your chain, your findings. That there is your project box ready and raring to go. And um, you're not breaking the bank to do it either, so that's always useful. £3.95, well done. I am moving on for you now because I've got plenty more. Thank you all so much for checking out as quickly as you are. It's, um, it's really useful, as I say, just because I'm allowed to move on quicker when you're all checking out. So, let's talk about this. This is your circular storage container. Again, these are stackable. So they've got a lip on the front and on the bottom. So if you get a few of these, you can just stack them up upon each other. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This again is one of those pieces of storage that you can do as you wish. So you've got the um, individual um, pockets here, but they do also come separate as well. So if you wanted to, hang on. Oh, two ninety five. Okay, two pounds and ninety five pence is your deal on these ones today. So if you do want to grab your hands on them, now is your chance. Let me just show you as well how you can take them apart. Um, you can separate them out. You can cut it in half and half, or you can, um, you know, you can use them as individual parts. And again, you have the nook that goes out and the nook that goes in. Da -da -da, there you go. And you literally just slide them, bottom to top it is, da -da 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 -da, into place again. And this is the thing, what you've got here is, so long as you put them on the right side, they are, it helps when you're looking at it. Um, they lock all in perfectly together, easy peasily done. And you can just take, say you just have something really small that you need to date with you, maybe you're just taking your handbag, then you could just use as many pots as you need. But also, if you do want to take them all out, they do stack so firmly on top of each other that they're not going to go anywhere. So it works really, really beautifully however you want them. You might not want them in the circle. You might have a little section. Yeah, you, know, you have that like secret bit in your bag, don't you? That little pocket at the side. You're not going to be able to get a huge circle in there. So you might just want to stack them up and then it'll be able to go. So you can alter it basically dependent on exactly what you're using it for there we go and then pull it back straight into the circle as and when you need it two pounds and 95 good work we're moving on stackable pots what do you like about these ones Hannah? these are the ones i've got yeah are so, they yeah. i had a feeling they might be I, yeah these are the ones that i use all the time so again because they, they all sort of like they're interchangeable you can move them around you you just you can just put all of your little knickknacks in there and then you can chuck them all into a, a big um i've got like this, this sort of like canvas drawer things oh yeah you know mm -hmm. shelving unit so so i've just got a whole like a whole canvas box full of little like these little units and then they'll stick together so you can screw them all together so you've got like it's almost like um like reels of wrapping paper or something together except it's not it's these full of beads that's useful yeah so i, th I just think they're great yeah really useful and again they're clear you can see exactly what you're doing they're a small pot sometimes i think when you you know if your pots are too large for something you 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 can't see them it doesn't work properly it doesn't seem to fit properly so if you do have the small little items this is the way to do it two pounds and 95 pence again and you know although we are saying that they are small they will won't half get a fair few bits in you know i've got these amber coming up launching by themselves today um you could easily get two pieces of this huge statement focal amber into those just check these out what are you thinking of doing with these you know that you'll definitely get these in time for christmas don't you so if you're ordering these today think about putting these on a slider bracelet and gifting those to your five favorite people or maybe you know you uh you have one for yourself one for your sister one for your uh mom one for your niece do you know what i mean something like that It'd be a really nice little christmas day um treat also, what about something like that maybe um, as, a little, as a little sort of competition treat for the big day? Mm. Okay, um, it's time for me to bring to you this beautiful chain. Now, when I launched a Belcher chain for you, I launched it da, 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 September, October maybe, uh, a, a couple of years ago. And it wasn't silver, it was in gold. 
but it was very, very popular because you can see how open this is and therefore how easy it is to add to. When I launched the belt chain for you, again, just to remind you, it was in gold, it was £325. Today, I'm about to do the silver version, still as useful, still as beautiful, but it's going to go under a tenner. This is your beautiful star by chain and it is defined. It is smooth, it is sleek, it is your 16 inch length that we're working with here. So this fits perfectly if you've got any tops like this. If you've got any dresses or any tops with a neckline like this, this is what they are made for. You know, at this time of year, we cover up a little bit more, don't we? And I think you can play that in a couple of ways. You can wear the shorter chains like this and the longer chains over the top to keep in with that look. So if you covered up in your heavy knitwear, you've got your long one over the top, you've got this one poking through just underneath. It is absolutely beautiful, the chain. You can see in this recording just how open it is and how easy that would therefore be to um, add the likes of your head pins to. The clasp is included, it comes attached already. Can I just let you know that if you are brand new today, this is a brilliant product to get involved with. A couple of things. First off, it is solid sterling silver, it's 925 sterling silver. And I know that you may well be thinking, hang on, I've seen things like, I've seen you know, sterling silver chains at the likes of uh, you know, Argos and, and, and uh, HM Samuels and, and even you know, Tiffany's perhaps, you know, it's sort of 40 pounds, 50 pounds, you know, etc. We are doing it for under 10 pounds today, not because our quality is any less, because 925 is literally what it says on the tin. It's 92.5% or 925 points of a thousand um, of, of the makeup of this. So you are dealing with premium quality here. It's beautiful, it's wearable, it's chic. It's just, we don't put on those huge margins. We don't put on those high price points. We are here, UK based in Redditch, uh, which is sort of South Birmingham. And um, we do not, um, you know, have like, 400 stores worldwide that we have to pay individual you know mortgages on and everything else we are this one studio here in redditch and we cut out the middleman whenever we can so the quality is the same but the price point not what you'd expect This is solid sterling silver. This is incredible quality. I've got more sterling silver pieces coming up for you. Um, like this pendant is solid sterling silver with the amber. It's coming up for you later. The clasp is already included. So if you've never made anything in your life before, this is as easy because you'll, you'll see that the bail on this one is, is large enough to literally just go straight on and over. You don't even have to add a jump ring or anything to this. If you are making something, you're gifting something for the very first time, what a brilliant first item to purchase because it's beautiful just by itself but even how perfect is this to purchase because remember if you have a brand new order today and you've never never done anything with jewelry maker before you get those two free strands with your first order and if you spend over 35 pounds a day you get that fiver off it's a great day to get involved and what a perfect purchase for it even if it's not for you it's just to put in your christmas cupboard for when jillian down the road nips in with a box of chockies 7.95 is today's closing price because it's a star by deal we're doing it for 7.95 now come 8 a.m tomorrow morning this will go back up to its original price point seven pounds and 95 pence is astonishing for what you're getting here you're getting strength beauty quality and ease this is something that if you are brand new, you don't even have to do anything to it. Pop it on, wear it, you're ready, you're raring to go. But if you do want to add to it, you can add things like this incredible amber, which I've got coming up for you later. Or you can, of course, add your own designs to this. It is that type of item that you've got to remember. It's not going out of style. It's not going out of fashion. Especially, actually, as Vogue says that 2019 silver's back. That's what Vogue has said. 2018 is all about rose gold when it comes to metallics. 2019, all about that silver. So it's coming back, you know, even more. Not that it really ever went out of fashion, but it's back with a vengeance. And it is truly a beautiful, workable, wearable um, strand. And as I say, if you've got higher neck tops like this, 
you don't maybe want an 18 inch where it just sort of balances on top and then sometimes the pendant's outside your top, sometimes it's inside your top and out and in and it does the okie dokie. Um, with a 16 inch like this, it's less likely to happen because it just sits naturally and rests beautifully. I think this is a really lovely chain and I know you do too so do check out whilst you can and if you do love this pendant it's going to be coming up in my 8 o'clock hour after this strand which has never been seen by itself. Now I'm going to be entirely honest with you, this was a one time we were lucky purchase. Acquiring pieces as large as this is no mean feat, let me tell you. This is the type of collection that were these to be sold on to other retailers. Because remember, Marius, um, who is our provider in, um, in Gdansk, where we get these from, Marius doesn't just sell to jewelry maker, he sells to other companies. This is the type of strand with its sizability that would probably be 24 karat gold or 22 karat gold quality, maybe even platinum quality, because of the sizeability. It is such a scarcity. It's coming up for you at eight. Before that, I know I've got something else to squeeze in. Hey, oh, we're over here now. Oh, I haven't seen that dog tooth amethyst in ages. Ooh, this is a new one on me. I've not seen this. Lovely charm. Charm or spacer, um, 11 mil, so a nice big size. Beautiful for uh, maybe using any stretchy bracelets like with the elasticity I did for you before. So here's your aperture that runs through it. And you've got this lovely, always Tudor rose design. It is solid sterling silver and it is £3.95. Going to be great on your stretchy bracelet. Do a little knot glue it into place this goes over the knot perfect it's also going to be good with your slightly um larger uh, gemstones um or your slightly larger pearls oh have you got any of those beautiful nucleated pearls you know like the big like roundish ones this would be perfect for it wouldn't it because usually if i'm bringing you a charm or a spacer bead i'm going to be bringing you something that's i don't know what spacer beads usually about four mil uh, charms maybe more like six mil. This is an eleven mil piece, so it's going to be beautiful for something like that. What would you do with this, Hannah, my love? Um, I think I'd be tempted to get a couple of them and then use um, sort of like make tassels to hang underneath them. So you get like to, like the lovely little sort of filigree ball, and then the, the tassels nice. that just hang down, and it all swishes around and moves. And I, I think tassels are still huge at, everywhere at the moment. So uh, yeah, they are. Why not? Tassels yeah. and sequins. Yes. You can't move for him. Literally, the static is insane. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, wait, have we, have we, do we know the price on this? I know you do, but is it definitely under 10? Because I know it's not meant to be under 10. I launched this for you. We sold a hundred and something of them. Launched this on the mid-show birthday. Um, that was last month. Last month. You can't take it. Genuinely, it's twelve ninety five. I know that for a fact, and are you serious? Okay, listen. I genuinely just said to uh, Wayne there, "Are you sure about this?" Because I know for a fact it's twelve ninety five. I know it is. I launched it. We sold. Uh, it was. It was. It was either over two hundred or just shy of two hundred. One hundred and eighty. Um, we sold. I am bringing to you incredible quality and genuinely this price point we're we're losing money on this for all intents and purposes nine pounds and 95 pence it shouldn't be under 10 pounds um, it's in this hour it's in this box because there are a few things around me uh, you know that are that are over the price point uh, but yeah it's never been this low it's 9.95 honestly react right now that is a s astonishing price point it's graduated 180 sold on launch how many have i got now wayne <laughs> okay um i've got i had more but now uh, were you all to check out which you are doing i would have 
14 available. So um, you've already, a load of you have already checked out. A huge well done. Just look at the quality of this dog tooth amethyst. It really is an incredible strand. We were very, very lucky to be able to bring this to you. It is the final few. There is not a reorder put in on this one yet. So once it's gone, which will be tonight, it will be gone. I am now in single figures on this. If you've got it in your basket, um, please, 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 if you want it, check out sooner rather than later because I hate when people miss out. Um, single figures I am in now. Low single figures in fact so please good luck to you all if you're on the phone line stay where you are we will try and get to you ASAP but let me just show you too there is graduation on this which is a big graduation the quality of them is beautiful and that dog tooth chevron quality is the real deal it's completely and absolutely natural it is one of those strands that I just think I would put it up to my neck but it's got a lock on but it is just incredible quality so grab that one whilst you can we're about to head to a break afterwards though we're going into that kit you're gonna love it don't go anywhere have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information. Order from us today at www.jewelrymaker.com Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewellery Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewellery Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? For a limited time, we're offering new customers a wonderful free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful genuine gemstone strands in an organza bag. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will be automatically added to your order when you make your first purchase. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, colour and type will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your gemstones, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. Thanks for joining us this Saturday evening. It's beautiful to be with you and lovely as always to be joined by Hannah. Um, Hannah 
It's Sparkle Saturday. You're not afraid of a bit of sparkle. No, I love a bit of sparkle. When we think about sparkle, I think we naturally go towards Swarovski and you've created, in essence, your own kit here. Yes, yeah. Um, because just in case you don't know, Hannah is a guest designer, but also you work backstage too, yes. don't you? <laughs> so on a day-to-day -day basis, for anyone who doesn't know, kind of, you know, where do you work? What do you do on a day-to-day? Um, so I work in the uh, kits and um, buying team, mm -hmm. so they've, they've, we've merged into one big team with yes. uh, Marie, our gemologist, as our um, esteemed leader, <laughs> um, and uh, there's a, a, a group of us that sit together, um, so we're kind of split into two halves, there's one half does all the buying, and then there's the other half that does um, kits, and um, I'm part of that team, mm -hmm. and uh, so we get to go through all the lovely gemstones and things that have come in, and then we try and turn those into kits that we think will suit a theme or suit a designer, um, or will feature something amazing that Marie's bought for us. So the great yeah. thing about having <laughs> Hannibal is she makes her own kit so that you know you can get exactly the look or the feel that you want. It's, it's quite a, a unique position to be yeah, in, really. Yeah, but it, it, it does mean that if there's something that I really like the look of, I can sort of say, can I have that? <laughs> Put it in a kit. <laughs> and that is exactly what has happened with this kit. And can't you just tell? You can tell that this is like a passion project. Yeah, I mean, I, anyone that, that has sort of followed my, my work in the past knows that I'm, I like big sort of theatrical pieces. Yes. I'm heavily into things like uh, peacocks. You are, and, yes. Uh, Egyptian star things. And yeah. um, I love Indian jewellery as well. Mm -hmm. And all the big sort of statement pieces. Um, so, yeah, I just, I just kind of went to town with, with all of the colours that are my favourites. Um, and created a, a couple of bead heavy pieces which um, I think because of the the amount of beads in them I've just put them on simple chains yeah you could if you wanted to go all out and have a, a big heavy beaded rope or something to go with it as well you get um, plenty of them yeah yeah but uh, labor of love definitely <laughs> yeah. and I think the the labour of love you can definitely see in the seed beads and then the twinkle and the sparkle of, for example, in the earrings, a relatively quick and easy piece, still very effective. I know, I, I, do you know what, the earrings are more of an experiment, that and also I happen to have a dress that might be that colour and we have a Christmas party coming up. <gasps> yes we do, oh, I'll be donning them on Thursday will you? I, I, I might be, I might be, yeah. I, I haven't worn long earrings for a long time but I used to wear them all the time. Yeah, um, beautiful. But yeah, I just think it, like, the cup chain is just beautiful in its own right, I absolutely adore this colour. Mm. Um, and I thought, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what I can come up with for a kit. And the cup chain, which is genuine Swarovski, is so designer and so chic. I think we obviously know Swarovski for its sparkle, obviously. But I think when you're looking at this, just look at the claw setting on this. That is so on trend right now. Using this mirrored, yet maybe not as traditional, four-point prong to actually make the prongs part of the design. This kind of effect is so on trend. And um, this is uh, your Swarovski Tiffany cup chain. And you can see that Tiffany-style finesse on this and that beautiful finish that is end with rhodium so you're getting the rhodium with this which means that shine is going nowhere it's divine you can see this recording now this is in a daylight simulator we here at jewelry maker refuse to use any star filters or any um, like twinkling light boxes the box that is it, that these are in spinning around is just one well it's like a set of four solid lights they do not twinkle on and off we are aware that some places will use those types of filters we refuse to do it here at jewelry maker so what you're seeing now is literally the type of effect that you are going to get when you wear these outdoors when you wear these to your christmas parties when you wear these in the new year when you gift these and it is that beautiful intense sparkle and twinkle that swarovski are known for Definitely, definitely. And also, I, mean, I know I've got um, a mixture of the, uh, the metal settings here, but it's actually, it's quite deliberate. Because I've got um, a gold seed bead as, as part of the, the, the other kit, um, it kind of pulls the two together. And I actually really like putting mixed metallics together. I think that enhances the look rather than, you know, like some people will pick their favourite. I yeah. really like mixing it up because I think it just makes all of the colours stand out more. Seamless. Yeah. 
What I have got for you here is a beautiful collection of high-end jewellery. Now, the Swarovski, um, if you are aware of the Swarovski brand, if you too sort of, you know, every time you walk past a Swarovski stop, uh, shop, you can't help but kind of, you know, rub a neck and have a look at the window, can you? What you will see is, you know, in the Swarovski store, you'll see pairs of earrings for the £80 mark and upwards. You'll see necklaces that are high-end triple figures. And that is because people are aware of the Swarovski name. The fact that you get to work with Swarovski crystals and make them your own design is so much fun and so exciting, even more so when we save you so much money. And that is what I'm going to do for you today. Considering what we have here, considering, and even if this is just... Even if this is just this a ring, because those in themselves could be rings. They could, they? yeah, they could very be. easily. Gorgeous, glittering, blingy uh, Swarovski rings. If you would consider these to be individual rings or even just individual earrings, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Even if I were to just sell those ten as rings with sterling silver or rhodium wire running through them, even if I were only to sell them for a tenner each, I've got a hundred pounds worth right there just in rings. And I've not even touched the sides on the rest of this chain that I have. So already a good price. I'm about to make it enigmatic. 54.85 is your should be price. Already a decent price. Today though, 27 pounds and 95 pence. We have taken that too. Now, I am not allowed to sit here and talk to you about staff price and things like that, but you know very well That's how a really good, good a deal price. that yeah. is. <laughs> Absolutely. That's Truly. a fantastic price. And actually, if you wrap that around your, your wrist a few times, it yeah. would make the most amazing bracelets as well. Gorgeous. I was just thinking if you, if maybe if you, if you were to wire wrap them into a, a cuff wow. or something. Yeah. Look at that. That is very decadent, almost sort of Marilyn Monroe, yeah. you know, uh, levels of decadence, isn't it? Looks so expensive, um, but it's twenty-seven pounds and ninety-five pence. I just think that is incredible. And you obviously get enough in here to make um, three pairs of earrings, or use those three as individual charms. Yeah, uh, definitely. Six, or, sorry, or as individual charms. As a fringe, as I've done on the um, yes. the, the peacock feather. Mm. Um, Eye, if you want to call it that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just, I just think they're really nice to add as embellishments, and because they catch the light so beautifully, they, they really make your design sparkle, don't they? Yeah. yeah. That's they, what it's all about. It is, <laughs> and they work so beautifully too with the rest of the kit, which I have got coming up for you. But if you do want shine and sparkle, this is your year. This is your time oh, of yeah. year. Sorry <laughs> to get it and to grab it and to cherish the light interaction on these because it really is spectacular i am going to bring into you now the um other collections the other elements um this one is if you are a seed bead embroider set your uh, lasers to stun because you are going to <laughs> adore this um tell me why this collection came together for you please hannah um, well, basically, I was, I was led by the gemstones, so the fluorite is beautiful. It's got so many different colours in there naturally. Um, I just wanted to pull those colours out and sort of shout about them, really. So I've tried to team the seed beads to match um, the, like those fabulous colours. Um, and in doing so, I think it means that it doesn't matter which piece it, that you use, because they're all different, and yeah. all, the, all the, um, the packs of them have got different shapes and different colours. But it means that it doesn't matter which piece you pick up, the beads are going to enhance the, the natural colour of the gemstone. Completely. And it is all about that, that bringing it to the next layer. There's so much personality in these. How did you go about using these individually? Because you can see you've used three yeah. in a whole piece there. So I've, I've, I'm just saying, where are we? Are we on this one over yeah. here? Yeah. So um, when we get there, there is, um, I, I kind of wanted to do something that had... Um, there's, a, there's some pottery called Troika, I think it is, and it's, there's, it's got a particular kind of way of putting geometric patterns together. Yeah. And they appear random, but they're balanced, and I really like wow. that look. So, so I kind of went with that same idea, mm. so using different shapes, but trying to balance them into one design. Yeah. Um, so I, I just, I know, I just think it's a nice way of showing it all off, because mm. you really appreciate the colour of each stone. And they're kind of showcased and yet you have this big chunky look with all the different colours. So it yeah. goes with so many different things as well. And the fact that it is so um, 
it's so wearable and wonderful and natural to talk about all those colours. Yeah, it makes yeah. it magic, doesn't it? Definitely. Magical. I mean, it's it's nice to have a bit of a mixture. So, you know, if you wanted to, you could take each of these stones and you could individually bezel set them. You could wire wrap them. You could use them for whatever you like. Mm -hmm. Or if you're a bit more flamboyant like me, you can just stick them all together and come up with something fabulous and so, really. Yeah, yeah. It's, it was tempting to do one huge piece, but I thought, no, I'm going to thin it out a bit, I think, because some people might look at one huge design and think, whoa, Too much. never going to have time to yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah. So this is kind of like a pared down version. You don't have to use all the stones at once. You can if you want to. You could just pick your favourite one and work with that, because the, the, the technique, it doesn't matter how many you're using, you, you're effectively using the same techniques to build your design. True. And I was just looking then, you do get 280 carats worth here, which to me is equated to five. And the seed beads, you're getting all of them, Mayuki. You're getting your silver lined gold 15 O's, you're getting your eight O's in the amethyst lined, and you're getting the green 11 O's as well. And it does all come with your backing foundation, which we're going to talk to you exactly about how to make. Today, we've already brought to you your fire line. So grab that, grab this, and you are gonna make yourself not only a fantastic saving monetary value wise, but also you are gonna make this stunning selection of jewelry with the free demonstration starting in a moment or two. Please notice, I am not paying attention to that price point because we're not staying there. Let me just remind you of something too that I think it's really important to take into account, that I think we often forget. That price point right now on your screen is not the RRP. If we've done a discount, say this tube has been played as part of a bundle or in a, by itself or whatever, you know, in the last month or so, and let's say we took, I don't know, three pounds off this, that is actually taken into account on your price right there. So I know for a fact that that is not your RRP, because if you, I went on a line earlier on and broke down the original prices of everything, and actually you were over 35 pounds for this, because there has been a, a discount Done. I'm sure it was on the backing foundation, but don't quote me on that recently. So already that's a discount deal. Yet we're not stopping there. We're going under 20. Under 20 pounds for this fabulous fluorite collection. This is going to be popular. Very, very, very popular at 16 pounds and 95 pence. You're essentially looking at an half price deal there really, aren't you? You have got a brilliant price point for what you're getting. These are astonishing, beautiful, genuine gemstones. And let me just play it to you this way, if I may. This selection of gemstones here, I did write it down. It was either 12.95 or 13.95 by themselves. Um, so just for the gemstones, which I think is an incredible price point, and that therefore means that you get in, you know, the tubes and the bag of foundation for less than a pound each, which is astonishing when you consider exactly what you're getting. It's a brilliant price point, isn't it? It's incredible. Oh gosh, I know you don't like that question. Yeah. Kerry's just asked, <laughs> how much would you sell the jewellery for? It's a scary question. Go on. I, don't, I honestly don't know because it's one of those things where you need to sort of work out how much time you're spending and this one, it was kind of just, I was just going for it. There was no sort of set amount of time that I could sort of say it definitely took me that long to do. So I really don't know. Mm. It's, it's so hard. I, I would say at least, at least if you're going to sell your jewellery, then you need to take the price of your materials probably double it and the original you, and price you, of your materials yeah, and then by you the way need to work out what what you want to be paid per hour yeah um do it in that way yeah, so it's, it's a difficult one, that one. It's a beautiful piece. It's a beautiful design. I think it's safe to say even the earrings alone um, um, or the, you know, uh, the um, like pendant alone would obviously be much more than 16 dollars so grab the bits that you need. We are uh, learning uh, how to work with the fluorite. So um, if you do have any questions for Hannah, if you've never tried this before and you're wondering if it's for you, feel free to message us in. Remembering if you are a new buyer today, you get two free trans with your first order and everybody, if you spend over 35 pounds, you get a five pounds off voucher, uh, five pounds off with the your treat um, code. Um, so if you do have any questions, feel free to get in touch. You can text us on 60777, start your text with a James Studio, or if you go into jewelrymaker.com, there's a little box that says send a message to the studio, you can type it in there too. Um, 
we bought your fire line earlier on, you've got your backing foundation, you've got your seed beads, you've got your uh, gemstones, all you need is a needle and we're ready to go, aren't we? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Fine. Um, so what I've got um, here is um, I've just stuck one of the cabochons onto a piece of the backing fabric mm -hmm. um, and I like the backing fabric being white because actually when you're in the sunlight it really, really shows off the colours that are in the stone. Yeah. Um, and then I'm just taking a piece of the fire line um, and I'm going to pass the needle through the back as close to the stone as I can. I've tied a little knot so hopefully it'll catch and not pull straight through. Yeah, there we go. Um, and then I'm going to just encircle the stone. So normally um, when I'm doing this I would say you probably add on four beads and then backstitch through every two. Mm -hmm. So for speed I might go a bit faster than that but for now you put on your four as close as you can, you push the needle back down through next to the stone. It's slightly squeaky actually, <laughs> just noticed. And then I'm going to, if I turn it back that way, I'm going to go to about halfway so that that should pop out somewhere in the middle of the four that I've just added. Pull that through and then you pass the needle through the last two beads in your four. And then that just holds it nicely in place. So I'm going to try something which might or might not work for, so that I've got some speed here. I'm going to try and add on more beads than that. So two, four, six, eight. Let's try that. I wouldn't recommend going this many. Like if you're doing it in earnest, then don't don't backstitch more than about two beads because it'll probably buckle. But we'll find out in a second, won't we? <laughs> So if I go about halfway down, I want to be between the row of beads and the um, cabochon. Mm -hmm. Pull that through. It might actually work. This might be a faster way of working for those that don't have hours and hours to sit playing with beads like I uh, do in an evening. Mm. <laughs> no, that's actually worked quite well, so I'm going to go with that. So four... And obviously, you know, maybe when you're just starting out, do a couple at a time and then build your confidence. To yeah, I, I think it would be neater if you if you don't try and go, because I'm trying to whiz through it, because there's a, there's a few techniques I could show on the same piece. If you did a bit and it mm. did buckle, you can just unthread that bit though, can't you? you don't you're not wasted anything. Yeah, you don't even need to unthread it, you just no. need to thread it more. So oh. you find if you pass the needle all the way around all of your beads a few times, it will just pull them all into place particularly with these slightly larger beads as well. Um, it just makes it a bit stronger. So I'm going to pull that through and go all the way around. This is one of the smaller cabochons as well. Mm. Whilst you're going around that, I yeah. just remembered, I forgot to tell you about your next stop by. And I don't want to get told off by Wayne. Scary Wayne. <laughs> Aww. He's not at all. Wayne's like a little... Jack Russell. <laughs> I would go more into detail, but I'm not going to. Um, I have got for you here a star by coming up with your cashew pearl. Also, as a reminder, tonight's must have brand new, never before seen by itself. Can I just let you know, I'm about to open this open for pre-order. It is now live for pre-order. This is a very special strand. I will just let you know that if you're getting it on pre-order, you can see a price. I will just let you know because you're looking on pre-order. And you can get pre-order by calling the call centre and asking them about the pre-order on the amber. It's at the bottom of your screen there. Or, um, sorry, it's not Tell Lie, that's the Swarovski. Um, or you can go on jurymaker.com. But the only time this has been seen was in a kit where the kit's uh, web price was £99 something. 99 Um So, yeah. The deal that you've got on this already is incredible. Um, so, I will just let you know that is on pre-order. And it is, it is a strand that has taken us a long old time to be able to get our hands on. Because amber in large pieces like this generally, um, you know, will be sent off to big, big, big providers who will set it into platinum and will be selling it for four figures. Um, I'm bringing this to you today. 
five big statement pieces at eight o'clock and it is going to start off my amber mini showcase including items like this one which i have never laid my eyes on before brand new if you like the chain i've done it before So beautiful, sizable bale, incredible item, just gorgeous, really beautiful. Yeah, come on, where's that? Where's that? Hello! That's a lot of bows, I love it. Hello, my gorgeous, gorgeous ladies and gents. Bex, thank you so much for your beautiful Christmas card. Aww. Hannah, um, you are so, so talented, dolls. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. You're an absolute love. Oh, Shazza, you've set my team off now. I've not had a Christmas I've card. Had a Christmas off you. <laughs> yeah, but Shazza got me a Christmas card and she made me some presents. Aww. Where are the presents that you've given me, team? I work with you oh, and that's wow. the present. The gift of companionship. I want my money back. <laughs> anyway, um, Shazza, you're an absolute angel. I'm glad you enjoyed the card. You're an absolute love. Um, so, yeah, loads more to come up, and you're right. Hannah's designs are beautiful. And we're going to learn how to create some more now. I'm back with you, Hannah, my love. Right, so I've quickly whizzed around um, with all those beads. Um, what I've got on the actual um, jewellery is I've, I've got another row of the, the lime colour and in the inside. So when you're adding that, it's the same technique but you pass the needle between your existing row of beads and the cabochon so that they sit sort of slightly on top of them. Uh -huh. um, so the next thing, the bit that um, I was really excited to do was to have a go with the cup chain. So what I've done is I've literally, I've just positioned it at the moment where I think I want it to sit. And then I know that I need to cut through here. So they've got like these little sections that move around. If you pull that out as far as you can, um, I'm using my flush cutters, which may be a mistake. I'm not sure if there's a, an ideal cutter tool for um, cup chain, but I found that my Zuron pliers were fine. Mm. So you've then got this section here, and then it's just a case of stitching it in place. So from underneath here, if I pass the, the needle back up to the top, I'm going to attach one of them by just stitching the thread kind of in a crisscross over the little gap. Where are we? There. So I'm just going to pass it over as close as I can to where this little silver um, bar is in the middle. Hmm. I'm going to pull that through. And then I want to crisscross it. So if I come back up from underneath as close to the uh, beads as I can, but on the other side of the bar, and then I've, I've crisscrossed that way first, so I need to crisscross across the other way to actually hold it in position. So I'm just going to pass that over there, pull that through, and you have to be careful because it can get hooked up on the little teeth. So I'm just going to try and help it sit there. It doesn't have to be particularly pretty stitches because afterwards you can then go round again and do a crisscross, but with a beaded section okay now you, like some people might say why don't you do that in the first place i actually think if you secure it first you then know how much space you've got to work with mm -hmm. and what size beads you can use because sometimes um some of the beads can be too small and you end up with gaps and then other times you can use a bead that's too big and it forces them to sit further apart mm -hmm. than you might want them to for your design so again just crisscrossing like that and hopefully, you can see it's, it's, it's enough. If I turn it upside down, it's enough to hold it securely. So I'm just going to keep going with that for a second, if that's all right. I wonder if, if I can go again for speed, if I can just skip a section, which well, is obviously not ideal. If you want to carry on, because I don't want you uh -huh. to sort of skip and then, because obviously then you're going to take it home, you have to cut it all apart and blah, blah, blah. I will bring some else on. Okay, and then you, you can do that. I'll, I'll go through. I'll just make then sure it's can... secure enough so that yeah. I can then do the next, next bit. Perfect. Piece. Wayne, as about I bring to you the black elasticity. Ooh, didn't know we had black. 0.5. Oh. This is going to go through a lot of your gemstones, yes, even including some of your pearls. Everyone needs to do a pearl stretcher bracelet, can't find the right cord to do it because the standardised cord that we do in our 
Fine these packs to 0.8, isn't it? Off yes, the top of me I noggin. think so, yeah. About 0.8. 0.5, gonna go through things so much easier and look at how gorgeous it is. Oh, so if you've got your darker gemstones, um, perfect, absolutely beautiful. It's really, really stretchy because it's an elastic. Great for your stretchy bracelets and a fantastical price point, absolutely astonishing price point that is, especially as elasticity. I had a look at this the other day, I can't spell on the best of days but elasticity beadle on there we go um dug, 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 loads of different prices loads and loads and loads of different prices but three pound 95 truly is this the same one that's clear i can't see any of the black actually none of the black's coming up i didn't know we had the black to be fair i really didn't that's fab You've got ones for 785 oh wait up the black's up now da, 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 785 for five meters, three ninety-five. Yeah, oh, that's one mil. It's a bit different, da, da, da. but anyway, eight pound eighty. Um, but yeah, basically, it's a brilliant product. It shows you on the back how to knot it perfectly. But if you want to do a bracelet whereby you don't need a clasp, all you really need to do is to be able to follow this and learn how to tie a knot. Um, and even then, you don't have to tie it in this exact way. It's up to you. Uh, then you're done. You're dusted, and it's three pounds and ninety-five pence. Just imagine one of these in the centre. Because I know uh, some people might say, well, you know, that's gorgeous amber. Would you really just put it on elastic? Well, why not? Links of London put their precious metal on, on elastic. Uh, Thomas Sabo put their high-end gemstones on elastic. You know, why not? Um, it's If it makes your jewellery more wearable, surely it's worth doing it. If everyone checks out, that's sold out. Sorry. So stay on the phone lines. We've allocated you one. People with it in your baskets. Oh, you're playing fast and loose. Um, do uh, stay where you are. Um, okay, I'm back with you, Anna. It's a bit Chicago, yeah. that, isn't it? And all that jazz. Um, How's what, it going? Uh, <laughs> Oh, no, you oh. felt like you were at a performance. There. Yeah, we yeah. did. We went to see that, didn't we, Kerry? Yeah, probably. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Anyway, Wayne, sorry. <laughs> Enough of the razzle-dazzle. Let's get back to the gorgeous make, which actually has enough razzle-dazzle for itself. So I'm yeah. with you, lovely Hannah. So I am, um, this is a very quick cobbled together version of this. I, I strongly recommend you take more time and you stitch every single one to the backing fabric if you're doing it. Okay. So I'm just going to trim this off. So basically you embellish this as much as you like on the front to get your lovely pendant shape and then um, to hide all of this stuff at the back we're just gonna I'm just gonna trim that as well it's gonna take another piece of the backing foundation and I'm just gonna cut round it like this just ordinary scissors here just cut round try not to cut through any stitches obviously if you're going to do this in earnest I would recommend that you um, over stitch where you've just been with some small seed beads so that Got you're it. hiding in between I've mm -hmm. used the little gold ones on, on the actual um, design and then we're just going to do a little um, pico edge so tie a little knot again in my thread here and then just to tidy up the edges I'm going to start off go through the top section mm -hmm. so the knots all inside just trim that away so it's not sticking out anywhere and then I'm going to put the two sections together and I'm going to pick up three of my beads one two three and I'm going to stitch through both of your uh, pieces of foundation pull them all the way through and then I'm going to pass the needle back through the last of three beads and what that does will sandwich the two pieces together and make you a little um, edge. So you add on two, three for the first one and then two every other stitch you do. So you then go through both pieces of fabric uh -huh. and you go back up through the last bead. And you go all the way around. And then basically you can add any embell embellishments you want to. So on the, um, the ones with these lovely little um, droplets, I've just used a piece of chain uh, and some jump rings to attach them. So you can make little frills and um, droplets, whatever you want, like chandelier effects. 
and this kind of thing. I mean, I've been playing around with, with like little sections like this, just as cr uh, Christmas tree decorations, and you can make like little purses in the same manner. So you just stitch to a certain point and then have like a little um, opening. Like not like a, I mean, you could stitch a zip into something if you wanted Ooh. to, but but more more of just. Um, you know, like if you've got like a compact mirror or something, yeah. and so it just literally just pops in, you'd, you'd edge half of it maybe and leave the other half free. How cool would this technique be for the top of a compact mirror? I think, I think it would be really quite nice. You can get tacky yeah. compact mirrors, like flat plastic ones. I saw them yeah. do a pack of, it was like a pack of six of them at a shop that doesn't quite cost a hundred pennies. <laughs> um, but imagine doing something like that Gluing it on top of a compact mirror. Oh my goodness! What I think a gorgeous it, gift yeah, to give you just to get someone. this lovely sort of effect, like building up. And I mean, this this could be anything. It could be a brooch. It could be um, just like a a badge or like a hat pin, or it could be something on your back. shoes. I love a hat pin. Mm, me too. I love hats in general. Me too. But um, I just I can't help but just love these colours and love the sparkle. And it's just so easy to stitch these things together. And it just depends on how much time you've got as to how many layers you do. But you can see how far Hannah's come on this. And we yeah. literally have seen every single step of this. Yeah, so I, I am like speed stitching here. Because yeah. obviously you, you, you'd want this all nice and neat. Oh, but so still, that it's, all, it's doing its job. Yeah, it is actually holding. But, you know, if you're going to use it as a wearable piece of jewellery, I would say take a bit more time. Yeah. Do it slowly. Yeah. Um, and then just secure it. And then if you have a look at the um, e either of them. So if you look at the actual peacock one... All I, the only thing that I've done different here is I actually bezel set the um, the fluorite in the middle first mm. using a peyote stitch, and then the, and then the rest of it that's then stitched to backing fabric, and then everything around the edge is the same as the technique I've been explaining. So it's, it just depends on how you assemble things afterwards. And then with the um, the little chains here, they're literally they they're just looped through the pico edging. Mm. So you can stitch them in place if you want them to be more secure, or you can have them as adjustable, um, removable, interchangeable. It's just a beautiful like. design. It really is. Thank you so much for showing You're us welcome. that. You're welcome. It's glitz, it's glam. There are a lot in baskets, says Wayne. So uh, do check out whilst you can. And just remember that the um, original price point on this uh, was more than double the price point on your screen um, with, without the uh, discounts. And then you add the discounts and then you add the extra discount to take it to 16 95 And also remember, if you're spending over £35 today, you're going to get a fiver off. So do make the most of that moment. I'm about to bring to you something with so much beauty and texture, it's really going to make your eyes pop. Um, when we talk about Keshi pearls, I think a lot of the time you will imagine quite a sporadic um, Keshi pearl. These ones, much more organised. So, if you like the look of almost enchanted petals, frozen in time with a sleepy frozen finish, you're going to love this stuff, I. You'll see what I mean when you look at these, but they truly are enchanting. They are divine. They are wonderful. They are genuine pearls. They're so pretty, aren't they? They really are. The colour on these is incredible. I mean, incredible. You might be looking at these thinking, uh, well, the white. Uh, not that exciting but actually what keshi pearls offer to us is the most exquisite deliberate display of rainbow colors now the reason it's very 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 difficult for you to see it in real life is because there are lights a lot of them in front of us they were very bleachy they bleach out a lot of um, light interaction but trust me on this well, Hannah, you can back me on this. I know. I was just looking at the, the, um, the recording, and they really do look, just look white. They, I mean, I can see pinks and greens and golds. It's, it's really pretty. And actually, it would go very nicely with this kit, I think, because of <gasps> the, the colours that are in there. They're very subtle, but they're there. Yeah. No, and I right think right. that's it. If you can pick out even the subtlest of, of the, the tones that are in there, it's really going to look fabulous. They are just astonishing. That, oh, look, look, look. You need... You can, you just about saw it, I think, there, in the mid... Just saw a little flash of it. Yeah, it's almost, I don't know why, it's these lights, I think, they just... Yeah, they, they do, they bleach it out. 
You have got here your genuine freshwater pearls that are one of the more expensive pearls because the nuclei or nucleus on these is so, so tiny. Sometimes you can see an imprint actually of the nucleus, which I can see on a few of these. Uh, but yeah, it's basically more of that necro. It's more of that expensive part of the pearl. Keshi pearls are one of the longer forming pearls. So to be able to get them today, um, you know, when they are so individual, when they are so unique, is, is always going to be beautiful. But I think one of the things we need to remember is that what we're dealing with here is a legacy gemstone. You know, you think of pearls, you think of heritage. You think of pearls, you think maybe of your ancestry. I know full well when I think of pearls, I think of the likes of my grandma, I think of the likes of my grandma, uh, great grandma I like to wear uh, pearls as well. You think about kind of creating something that has legacy, creating something to pass on and to hand down. And what I love about this one is you're stepping away from the norm, the tradition of maybe your perfect round pearls. So if you are maybe from a family whereby uh, you appreciate heritage and antiquity, but maybe, you know, kind of following the trend and following the uh, line of, you know, perfect round pearls isn't for you. This is the type of item to go for. It is as individual and as unique as you are yourself. And today you are getting... When you consider that these are one of the longest forming pearls and also when you consider that if you look after these and by that I mean don't go dunking them in bleach, don't go wiping your acetone against them, you know, look after them. Make sure you don't put hairspray along them. Make sure you don't, um, you know, I don't know, take take them to the gym or whatever. <laughs> or swimming. Um, look after them. Take care of them. And these will last and last and last. And today, you have got £24.95 as your closeout deal today for a serious amount of pearls, a serious amount of heritage beauty pearls and a set of pearls that I truly believe you need to get home. They look nice on your screen. If you like them on your screen, then I would say get them home and prepare to fall in love because honestly, they are underperforming right now, which is fine because when you get them home, they're going to over deliver. And uh, that is always going to be a magical thing. They are truly beautiful. Um, from a guest designer's point of view, let's imagine we want to create something that is um, maybe a way, stepping away from tradition with these because it's quite an untraditional shape. What might you create? Oh, OK. Um, untraditional. Well, how about something like a belt? You know, so, so you have like you, maybe you've got like some kind of woven pattern or woven design that you could um, sort of stitch these into and have them as kind of. Um, I, I kind of want to say, you know, like a belly dancer's got like the coins hanging exactly on a chain. Mean. Yeah, like tassel. That sort of thing. But, but obviously it'd be, it'd be you wouldn't want to crash them together as such, but mm. you'd need to stitch them in place. But yeah, that's that, beautiful. That's, that's, and that's going to really that's... let it catch. Yeah, I love that. It's going to let it catch the light. And do you know what? There are loads and loads and loads and loads of um, people who have been photographed wearing pearls in their clothes and on their clothes recently. Um, beautiful strand. Well done to you all. I know what we're all waiting for. Trust me, it those. is yeah. worth the wait. It is open on pre-order. However, your closing price is not uh, available on pre-order. What I mean by that is if you buy it right now, it will say a price. And if you do buy it now, you are going to see the price drop. You don't have to worry about checking any more out on this because everybody pays the final low price. It's not what you can see on pre-order right now. But if you do buy it now, you will pay that lower price when we come to do these in approximately 22 minutes ish. Um, okay, I've got some more goodies uh, to get in for you. Let me bring to you sterling silver wire in the 0.4 now. This is a beautiful weaving wire. Feels quite nice and sturdy actually for a 0.4. This is your 0.4 sterling silver wire. What we love about a 0.4 is the fact that it can create beautiful designs. It can create lovely patterns. It can be used in, um, you know, sort of earrings in the sense of doing sort of linkage together. It can connect things and items together. But we love it even more when it's solid sterling silver because you are working with the creme de la creme. It's 2.95, which for what you're getting here we, with just shy of a gram and a half. Half, that is a really very very good price point it is 
something quite imaginative it's something very usable you can use it with your seed beads you can use you can. it with your wire work you can use it with many different things can't you yeah i mean i've, I've always known a point four to be like an embellishment wire so if you've already got another sort of more structural design and you want to add something a bit more fancy you can use your, your point four to add the uh, the flourish if you will the flourish to the yeah. design i like that as a description yeah absolutely you can do that and um you know you can pop your beautiful gemstones such as this onto it and what i would think of doing is i might add i'd be able to get that through two times quite easily oh, yeah. actually but what i might do is i might post through one side, loop it onto my slider chain, post it through to the other side, loop it on, tie it off. I've then got a solid sterling silver slider bracelet. You know the slider bracelets that we do? Because if you were to just use uh, your normal beading thread, then obviously it's not solid sterling silver, is it? So that could be a way of doing something like that or in earrings or whatever it might be. Uh, well done, I do have to move on. I'm going to some dendritic now so dendrite um, word essentially meaning tree-like structure and what you want with dendrite because i always think this is quite important to mention because we're always harping on aren't we about clarity and gemstone very important clarity 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 you don't want that with dendrite opal because dendrite or dendritic meaning fern-like structure that's what you want to see in your gemstones and that's definitely what you've got here if you see a dendrite opal and it is 99 percent one color you know, and it's got maybe a speckle or something on it. That's not necessarily what you want. It's not its namesake. You want beauty, you want intrigue, you want interest. And that is what you've got here. And it's £9.95. If you like the look of that price and you've just tuned in, my whole first hour of this show was under £10, even on Dog Tooth Amethyst, which we shouldn't have taken to that price. Um, but yeah, if you do want it, jewelrymaker.com is your place to go and have a little perusal on there. It's, um, it's, uh, it's always worth a little nosy just to see what you're uh, missing out on. I've actually got some wire that might go really nicely with this coming up later, which is a uh, gunmetal wire um, that might work quite nicely just for something a little bit different. But yeah, £9.95. It's really lovely for lady and gent jewellery, that. Carnelian now. These are delicate. Oh, wow. Delicate and dainty. Not afraid of using these actually with... Um, the Pantone Colour of the Year. Pantone Colour of the Year um, is the living coral colour. And actually, I think there's something beautiful about coral pinks with this kind of hue. Because this almost reminds me of like starfish. You know when you see, if you've ever seen like a, a picture of like a starfish against coral, um, it almost looks like it's, it's sort of been edited. But it looks really beautiful. I think there's a real nice um, intensity and richness to it. What you've got here is that stunning carnelian in the two mils, making them dainty and delicate, but that natural colour causes a stir. If you want something spicy and beautiful and on trend, this is absolutely your way to do it. It really is. If you've got any... Um, with the Pantone colour, uh, what kind of gemstones do we have that's similar to it? Obviously, we used to do coral, didn't we? No one does coral anymore, though. What kind of other colours are like similar? Like Morganite, like a, a, maybe? Um, some of the shells we've had... <gasps> Great point. <clears throat> yeah, some of the shells that we've done. Corally colours in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd work beautifully alongside it. Actually, I've just noticed, you know our show price bar there? That's not a million miles away, actually, from Pantone Colour of the Year. Have you still got that slide, Kerry? Let's just see the transition. Actually, I think it's a little bit lighter, the Pantone Colour, isn't it? The Pantone Colour? I'm looking at... Uh, what about it? The colour, the pink colour that's on your screen. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. No, it's a little bit more orangey, isn't it? The yeah, living coral. I, I, I think it's. I think it's actually closer to the to the carnelian. carnelian. I'm, kind, I'm kind of in the right colour, I think, already. I'm on trend for next year. Yes. So <laughs> on trend. Um, Two pounds ninety-five as you deal on this one. Well done. I do have to move on. I've got loads and loads and loads of goodies, and we want to try and get through it. If you do like the look of um, this colour of the year, then <laughs> how's about you go for the metallic version of it in these incredible angel wings? Lovely, I, I got sent this beautiful angel wing pendant um, by one of our wonderful viewers the other day. I really love and adore and appreciate um, sort of the motif of angel wings. Um, these could be bird wings, of course, as well. 
When you think of angel wings, there's lots of connotations that come to mind. Of course, uh, there are guardian angels. Of course, uh, you know, people sometimes will have um, angel card readings as well. Um, but there are many connotations with sort of flying, the nest, maybe leaving home that these could connotate to. The fact you're getting five there, you know, adding these to designs, I think, is going to be beautiful. But what I do love about them too is although they are blatantly a wing design, they actually very much have a paisley shape to them they which do, means yeah. they sit in beautifully together now I'm not sure if you're gonna sort of be able to see this but you can kind of use these in almost like paisley shaping manners and ways yeah if I lift this obviously it's just gonna go everywhere you isn't might have it to but put it there and then you can sneak peek you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So you can sort of interlink them in different ways. And because they're so open, you could stitch them in, couldn't you? Could, you could, in different yeah. Directions. That, I mean, that's, that's one of the things I like about them, the fact that you can add to them. Because it's got like that sort of open filigree, Yeah. Um, you can wire up to it, you can stitch through it, you can put like some of the finer jump rings through it. Yeah. It makes it more versatile, doesn't it? Which usually is a good thing in jewellery. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> if it makes your life a little yeah. bit easier, yeah. but also if it's something can become multiple things. Yeah. It's fun, isn't it? Um, okay, we have got some silver plated essential findings for you now. And these really are an essential. These are your base metal ones with your silver over the top of them. Why do we need things like this, please, Hannah? Well, if you want to make any kind of jewellery, uh, you usually need to have some kind of findings. So um, you can make some, some things out of seed beads, but if you want to, to have conventional jewellery, then you'll need findings. It's all the... Um, kind of the, the nuts and bolts that you would use to put things together like fastenings and uh, earring hooks and the chains, jump rings, everything that actually makes your design into a wearable piece of jewellery. Mm. So basically if you want your piece of jewellery to be wearable, which we do, this is a good place to start. You have got here a 21 pieces in it and don't forget by 21 pieces we're also included in there a 50 centimetre chain. Oh, it's been a right mess of that. A uh, 50 centimetre chain which of course is perfect for a necklace length. And today for the full findings pack for all 21 pieces, £1.95. Now from this very easily you can be making yourself a necklace a set of earrings and a few charms to hang from a bracelet, for example, on the elasticities that I did earlier on. You've got a full selection and suite of jewellery here to be created. And actually, you're going to be able to make a couple of pairs of earrings because you're actually getting two pairs of these. But it goes really far. And um, there are some elements in here that are nearly impossible to recreate, aren't there? Well, I mean, if, you, if you're looking to make yourself a, a chain, for example, it would take you absolutely ages, wouldn't it? Mm. And then yeah. you've got like, what, well, it's nearly a metre, is it? 50 centimetres. 50 centimetres of chain. So that's going to go a long way in the, to start with. And then you've got things like your crimp beads as well, which mm. if you're using um, normal beading thread, then they're, they're essential because they attach your beading thread to a jump ring and then that enables you to attach a clasp in turn. So yeah. it's all, they all kind of link together. Yeah. So you've got just enough of everything to make a suite of jewellery mm. and an extra pair of earrings. And for one ninety five, it's it, that's brilliant. It yeah. really is. It is fab. And also remember that we did this um, lovely. No, I love this. How beautiful! Again, the set of earrings like you did. That'd be perfect, wouldn't it? How did you attach I was your just earrings? Gonna say, actually? Do you want to see how I did that? I'm going to yeah, whip them away out like that. Yeah, go on. So I don't. Know, I don't know if I can. If you can see or not, I might have to actually do it with the other one. Uh, right. I might need to borrow a head pin. So all you do, this is not the best thing to do with your pliers, don't, don't uh, your cutters. Mm -hmm. um, you're, there's a little section at the end here that is, uh, I'm going like to say, a little... you can prise it up slightly. Yeah. This is not the best tool to be using. I wonder if I've got my nose on those pliers. Got those pliers in there. I'm going to have to use that to start with just to lift it enough. Mm -hmm. All you want to do is be able to lift that end section up enough to tuck one of the um, head pins under. By the way, this chain that we're looking at now is from the first kit, um, first kit of the components that we did. Uh, just in case you're like, oh, I love that. Um, it's just Rusky Cup chain enough. and it came with six uh, droppers. 
Not quite, it's got slightly... Oh, so you put your head pin in that bit? Yeah, so... It's, oh, hello, it's that's of, clever. Kind of an upside down head pin, so you, you pop that in there. So the ball head pin so goes the, in that so bit, So the yeah. ball bit goes in there, and then you need to close this back up again. I'm hoping I can do it without losing the, the stone, because I've had to prise it quite wide, this one. And again, just using your flat nose pliers here. Yeah, flat Quite nose easy. pliers just to just to capture it in place. Yeah. And as long as that is locked in, locked in, I'll just give it a little squeeze again there, and then you just um, make a little loop out of the head pin. So I'm going to ah, fold that over, make a little loop here, and then I don't want to put any pressure on where the head pin is inside the chain. So I'm going to use the flat nose pliers. Oh, yeah. like that to then trap it in place mm. and hopefully that will reinforce the fact that it's cupped it yeah it should it should hold it in position because yeah. it's kind of protected on both sides now isn't it yeah i might even be tempted to do like a little spiral or something on the front mm -hmm. there yeah okay just going to go like that and then you use your um shepherd's hook or whatever you like just to go through there and then mm. you've got an end isn't that brilliant which makes it Nice and easy to use. You That's can, you really can actually get a really simple way of using it. Yeah, you can get cup chain um, ends, ends and things like yeah. that, but you can actually improvise. That's a brilliant way of using them head pins. Thank you for showing us that. Where is it, love? Stone and silver pendant bail now. Don't forget, if you do have any little um, things like that that you'd really like Hannah's help with, that you can text her in uh, this evening. Oh, I like these ones. They say 925 on the inside, so it's like a little secret hidden message. <laughs> and then you've got a gold lashings of it over the top. Today, £4.95 for three of these. These are definitely some of the chunkiest of the bales that we've brought to you. Look at the amount of metal that's in this. It's going to therefore sit beautifully and it will sit beautifully... as a directional tool. You cannot now not look at that amber. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because it kind of points towards it, doesn't it? Actually acts as a directional uh, sort of device. And I think because you've got that rich gold as well, it doesn't kind of overpower it. So let me just show you it with sort of a silver. You know, it is each to their own, of course, but I feel like with the silver, if this were a silver bale, you'd almost be looking more at the silver than the amber, maybe. Whereas this, it kind of just points towards it in a, check out these huge ambers That's kind of way. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful, isn't it? Um, oh, we're moving on again. Why? Rose. Did I just hear? Rose-plated sterling mm. silver. Oh, it's a heart slider. So, if anyone's not seen these before, Hannah, what do we love about them? Um, well, the fact that they can be used on the slider um, chains, basically. It's, it's, a, it's a fancy embellishment uh, fastening, if you like. So you have the two little sections here where you can put chain through, and it can be popcorn chain, speaker chain, belcher chain, so long as it fits through, it fits through. You've got the sort of nylon-esque um, stoppers in there that don't just help with the stopper nature of it, but also they actually help, uh, you know, not mark your chain. £6.95 pence. this one is. You can use it on necklaces, you can use it on your bracelets. It's absolutely and completely up to you. What do you do? £6.95. I am going to, before the break, bring you another pearl, if I may. Um, these time, these time, Ooh. this time, in your pure white. That's a nice little oh, Sorry, from you, weird. Hannah. Ooh. That's... <laughs> oh, I can't stop now. <gasps> oh. They're just really lovely. They are, aren't they? They're casually dropping some amazing pearls. Mm. Okay, oh, let's just, go for it. <laughs> casually. We can do that here at Jewelry Maker. Blimey, under a tenner. Under a tenner for genuine pearls. Remembering these are real pearls. They are the real deal. They are the beautiful um, pearls that have a wonderful finesse to them and a lovely workable size. They are £6.95. These, which of course dwell in the water, 
How about pairing them with oh, look at that. something that we find in the water? Beautiful. That'd be stunning, wouldn't it? Just one. You yeah, don't need you, anything yeah, else. You don't need anything else at you all, don't. do you? No. Stunning. Yeah, you just want that. That um, just looks beautiful. And I think because the, the pearls are so pure and even, they just draw your eye again more into the sparkle, but you can't ignore the pearls either. It kind I of know. works a nice balance. So not long on these ones. We're talking about six minutes or so. They are on pre-order. A big portion of the stock has gone. So much so that I have 48, did you say, available? Oh, 42. 42 available because of the pre-order of people who have come in on it. It is the only time that it's ever been by itself before. The kit that this was in was a uh, web price of over £99. I'm going to bring this to you today for less than 80 Now, it is on pre-order. The pre-order price you can see is not where we're stopping. Everybody pays the final closing price. So I just thought I'd make you aware of that because it truly is just stunning, stunning item that you've got there. Just look at it on that recording. Look at how that sparkles. They're so tactile as well, aren't they? They really, truly are. Mm. They truly are. As well as that, Amber, I've got this one. I've not seen this pendant before. Have you seen this one before? I haven't, actually, no. Faceted Amber, anyone? <laughs> I know. Faceted Amber. Isn't that incredible? I think that's the first time I've seen it. Me too. And it's coming up for you with more Amber Friends after the break. Do not go anywhere. We'll be back with more deals after this. Did you know that when you book a jewellery maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our jewellery maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. You can watch our Jewellery Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Welcome to Jewellery Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you're looking for the perfect gift this year, then choose the Jewelry Maker gift voucher. Available in £10 and £50 denominations. Contact us now on 0800 644 655 and give the gift of choice this Christmas. Our Jewelry Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people? Wake up and tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8am for our early bird special. We have some great offers, amazing deals and great prices to bring to you. So that's 8am every morning and you know what they say, the early bird catches the worm. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. 
make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. The Jewelry Maker phone is free from a UK landline, so call us today to place your order. Launching for you right here, right now. Never ever before seen outside of a kit. This strand is something which took us a significant amount of time to get, purely because of the sizeability. Now, if you think about the way in which amber is created, and you imagine these prehistoric trees that no longer exist, naturally sitting in an island in what we now know as the Baltic Sea, and over decades and decades and centuries and centuries, releasing tiny, minuscule amounts and droplets of amber as a form of protection. Over time, these trees naturally fell, and they release their amber, which is not like any other tree resin. It does not, you know, get affected by acid rain or, or uh, decompose or dissolve as, as quickly as uh, any other. And because of that, we have got the unique opportunity to get Mother Nature's fingerprint from a historic time. This strand is brand new, it has been on pre-order, therefore I have 42 only now. Before I bring those graphics in, let me just remind you of something. This is one of the most expensive organics on the planet. It is known as Baltic Gold and actually fetches for its weight much, much, much higher prices than that of gold. This these elements that are touching my skin right now are a minimum of 45 million years old because it's Baltic amber, not all amber can say that. There are like Eucopal amber which, you know, can be less than a million. 45 million years old and the largest pieces we have ever been able to individually acquire and you get to not only own them and wear them but make with them too. Think about the opportunity and the smile on people's faces when you gift these incredibly emotive pieces of your amber. Every single one of them individual, every single one of them beautiful. Just appreciate the individuality of each because they are incredible. They really truly are, aren't they? It's their beauty, that abundance of sparkle that we've got here. It is a snapshot of life, you know, 45, 50 million years ago. It has this incredible beauty and individuality to it with that wonderful fiery inner color. And what you're getting here is something which you know, known as the sea stone um, um, because we're fishing it from the ocean, but from the water. What you're seeing here is elements that are so much surpassing that of our normal sizes and elements that we bring to you. And what I mean by that is, dug dug dug. Let me grab for you. Oh, you're gonna love this pen that I've got coming up in a bit. But let me grab for you this one, okay? This one here. These, I would say, are when we do a strand, because this is a strand, when we do a strand of um, ambers, these are the general sizes Lovely. we'll see. Yeah. I know, this is gorgeous, this. This is coming up in a bit. Cool, that, isn't it? But yeah, I'm going to be bringing this to you in a bit. But these are the average sizes that we will do. Just to show you a, a sizing comparison, take a look at these ones and how beautiful they are, and they really are stunning. If that's an average size on a strand... Can you see now just how incredibly sizable these are? That means that you here have got a focal point. You have got here a beauty, a quality. You have got here that strength, that head-turning nature of one of the oldest pieces of jewellery and one of the oldest organics you are likely to ever own. And today, Amber 
Amber is a minimum 45 million years old when it's from the Baltic region, but it can be 100 million years old. Because it's dinosaurs time, isn't it? Time of the dinosaurs. Um, I'm bringing to you now. Let me just remind you, the only time you've ever seen this before was in a kit whereby the original web price was over £99. £79.95, I promised you, was not your closing price. Can I just let you know something? This, just as a reminder, has been proven, scientifically proven, to um, help lower stress. And that is scientifically proven, okay? This isn't like when we talk about crystal healing, we have to be careful about what we say. This has been scientifically proven. When it is burnt, when it heats up, the scent that it gives off and the, um, the it's called an acid, but don't worry, it's not like proper acid. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not anything dangerous. But what it gives off, it has been proven to be relaxing. Um, a lot of people think that it has um, uh, kind of pain-killing qualities to it. I can't guarantee that, but I can guarantee that you've got something here that's very, very special, something that's very, very beautiful. And today, I have got one opportunity at a one-minute clock. Now, I absolutely adore you. I do. I think you're ace. I want you at home to get the best deal you can. And there is a way around it. We're gonna give you a one minute clock and I need you to put this in your baskets in this time. And I will let you know why. We found a loophole a while ago that we can't do all the time because, uh, you know, it's, 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 man, you won't get annoyed, <laughs> understandably. Um, basically, we have something called a history. When we type a code in, um, this one that you can see here, it has a history. It tells you everything about the product, when it was last seen on air, how long it was on air, who the team was, what time specifically it was at. It also tells you of interest, I, aka the amount of people who had it in their baskets or were on the phone line, who essentially showed their interest. Um, as the price came live we're going to give you one minute we have two prices in mind we will do a discount I guarantee can I guarantee minimum of fiver yeah all right I'm going to guarantee you minimum of tenner discount guaranteeing you that if you put it in your basket and this is absolute hand on half truth um, we have two prices in mind depends on how many show interest will depend on what price we are allowed to go to on this so you've got one minute from now bing, to grab this um, I will just let you know that with the people on pre-order and with everyone who's checked out now I'm actually in my 30s in quantity um, this was already a low stock opportunity as you can imagine you know getting your hands on such a treasure as this in such sizable beautiful pieces very very difficult to get indeed um, and because of that I will just say that it is, it is popular and it was tough for us to get big quantities we managed to get uh, I think we had 60 something as an original but now I have got 30 something so we are going to give you a special special price discount now I promised you we're going to take it to uh, you're going to get a minimum of a tenner saving and what I can just let you know that if you wanted a singularly drilled gemstone this is the biggest one I've got of the hour so if you do want a statement piece for just one in the middle of a slider bracelet or just one in in kind of a teasing ring design then absolutely beautiful um He's doing it. He's doing it. We could have just saved you a tenner. We've decided to take more than 25% off the price. Way more. £49.95. That has just caused... <laughs> That has just caused Wayne to do the most manly of whoopsies <laughs> in my ear that I think I've ever heard, <laughs> which sounds very odd. All right. 49.95, that's incredible, Wayne. That really is astonishing. He's going, it's naughty. It really is. And it genuinely, truly is. I will just let you know, as I mentioned earlier on, I'm now in my 30s of quantity. If you want individually drilled gemstone, then this is the one for you. I actually happen to think um, if you are interested in following shapes and themes, circle on circle design, one of these above. Wow, what a pendant that would be on my um, chain that I've got coming up in this hour, actually. I don't know if you've noticed. I've got... Um, 
I've got my, this was my 16 inch chain that I did earlier on, the Belcher chain. This is one of the pendants I've got coming up in this hour. But then I've also got my opera length chain on as well. So the opera length chain's coming up in this hour as well. Um, very, very beautiful chain. They both are going to work perfectly. Um, but yeah, we've got quite a few elements of amber coming up, but they're all really different. So if you want something individually sizable that is singularly drilled, this is the one for you. And I keep saying singularly drilled because I do have a whopping piece as oh, well amazing. which is trio it's got three i've never even seen that mm -hmm. <laughs> i want it <laughs> why because oh gosh because i could team that with all my seed beads you could do like a like a really big stretchy cuff if you wanted yeah, to yeah cool that isn't it that'd be amazing oh that's cool that isn't it what is it Oh, the bee's going to... I've got the bee's coming up for you. It's going to be on and gone. Are we doing it straight... Are we doing it now? Oh, we're doing it after this. We're doing it after this, but I've got a bee coming up. Um, it's incredible. Yeah, we've got we've got very, very few of them. It's going to be on and gone. Um, but yes, I've got so much more to come. I really do. I've got some floral designs. I've got some multicoloured designs. Wayne would really like you to check out your baskets, if you don't mind. Please... <laughs> Because I'll get in trouble if you don't, he says. <laughs> so he just said. Why are you trying to be Danny Dyer again now? <laughs> that sounded more like this then, didn't I? Nope. You don't know who Danny Dyer oh is. Oh, Gary, 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 Gary. I might, you'd know a picture if you saw it, I'm sure. EastEnders. He's from EastEnders. Football Factory. That's that's Kerry, that through and through. <laughs> Disney girl, it's Disney and Football Factory. That's what Kerry's all about. That's the sweet spot. <laughs> oh, she doesn't know what Football Factory is. <laughs> Blimey. Anyway. Um, he was at a meet and greet one night in Uneaton apparently as well. Wow. There is a cue for this, by the way, unsurprisingly. Can I ask you what you would do with this strand? Well, apart from grab it and run and hope that nobody caught me. Yeah, um, yeah. I think that, well, there's so many things you could do. I love cocktail rings, so I would probably have one as a, a ring. Oh. Um, and I might have to talk to some of my lovely fellow wire workers, basically, to make something amazing and elaborate. <laughs> um, I love the idea of having a few of them as kind of a choker. Mm. Um, but again, because I like my seed beading, I'd probably want to bead around it as well. So it's a bit of both, you know. Yeah. Um, you could you could do anything you wanted to. I also love the idea of the slider bracelets that you were talking about. I've never I've never actually purchased any of the slider bracelets myself. So no. I was just thinking that might work. You know, that might be something I I could get on with because I quite like big bold jewellery. Yeah, you do. Normally, if I have delicate jewellery, I end up sort of damaging it. Um, so, because they're nice, big, sizable pieces, yeah. I was thinking, yeah, actually, I, I could wear that. I'm trying to multitask here, and I'm just looking for if there's any Baltic amber of this size by itself. And I can tell you, there is absolutely zilch. Man-made amber, yeah, sure. Amber less than a million years old, which technically some people think shouldn't be called amber. amber. Yeah, sure, no problem. But no, otherwise glass, yeah, no problem. Otherwise, no, there is nothing before me on the interweb that I can see anywhere near this size. So very, very, very special for you. It's just beautiful. Okay, we are moving to the buzzing bee. I have less than 10 of this. It's gonna be popular, especially when I show it to you with its home. Oh, <laughs> I can't reach it. Come here, you. No, it's very, very slidey. Come here, you. There we go. Oh, sweet. Yeah. The honey bee. A real big, big push on the honey bee. A really, really big, big um, push on the honey bee of late. Of course, we all understand how important the honey bee is. We've obviously thought about how important the honey bee is in the likes of, um, you know, your um, uh, 
like gardens pollination, and pollination, like, yeah. etc. It's also, I think, for this year with um, you know everything that's that's gone on in um, uh, Manchester, the worker bee. Oh, it's yeah. a really, really a symbol, big so, symbol, it? and we're bringing it to you. Half my stock's gone today. Your price, Wayne. It's all right. Today, your price. <laughs> £17.95, I've got two left, and if you like it, how about you get its honeycomb as Honey well? Honey to the bee. It's you for me. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> true. Um, so, yeah, I've got this coming up for you as well, so absolutely beautiful. Um, oh, I'm gone. What? Oh, right, okay, oh, we're not going to do this. We're going to do another honeybee. This is your last honeybee. There's four of these. Let me show you. This one is just your pendant, so it's not got the loop at the bottom. Ah, okay. There we go. Seventeen ninety-five for you again. So, um, yeah, I would say if you want to get the honeycomb, you want to do it with the previous bee, because obviously you can't attach this honeycomb to this one. But... If you don't, then just grab that one. Um, so, yeah, this is your beautiful honeybee. It's $17.95. That's over allocated. And let me just show you, this is the one that would work perfectly with the honeycomb. I would just do a jump in through each. Perfect. On a really long, lovely um, On your opera, opera, opera chain. chain. Yeah. yeah, perfect. The honeycomb I've got for you now. I've got nine left at this moment. $17.95. I absolutely love the beauty of that. And I will just say to you, this is maybe just for me, but I think it goes perfectly with my faceted amber because they're, they've both got that kind of honeycomb outer body shape. I think that works really, really nicely. Um, obviously, you know, you might do these maybe as earrings and, and that as a pendant. Obviously, it's up to you, but I think they work really beautifully. Very pretty indeed. £17.95. Okay, I've, I, uh, I've only, hardly got any of these left now. I am over allocated. If we take into account everyone who's got in their baskets and people on the phone line, stay on the phone. You could be there to get it before someone checks out. So I wish you all a good luck. I have got about three of these ones left and now stay exactly where you are. We which one, my love? The largest. I'm going to do the largest pendant that I'm wearing for you now. This is faceted amber. It is beautiful. I have been wearing this one all show on the 16 inch belcher chain that I did in the first hour of the uh, late show. I have been wearing this all evening and it's so beautiful in its finesse and feel. It's not over the top, it's not too weighty because it's amber, but Whenever I've kind of looked at myself, I can't help but peep at this because although it's not too weighty, it doesn't half cause a stir because of how beautifully 3D this is. And it is faceted, as you can see. So what you have here, if you imagine this as, as a, a traditional gemstone shape, you have got a hexagonal table that then has facets down to the girdle of the actual stone itself. How many faceted ambers like this, shaped ambers, faceted ambers, do you have? Probably none, because it generally doesn't happen, this kind of approach, this kind of work. But I think we can all agree it really does add to the interest. So there you go. You can see I've kind of got the light on the table there. And then you have this guiding down towards that girdle. It's got an incredible amount of sterling silver around it. You can see it's all built into one. It will come like this. And the reason I really liked this too is because you don't need an added jump ring for this design if you don't want to. It is a beautiful piece, isn't it, Hannah? Yeah, and it, it's, it's just a, a pop it on and off you go, isn't it? Yeah, it know? is. Because look, if I just rotate this chain around, you can see it goes completely over that class, right no problems top, yeah. whatsoever. So you don't even need a jump ring to add this on. It just slides over that clasp, no issue whatsoever. Pardon? I think that's a fantastic price. Just check out the amount of silver on this. You've got so much going on with this, and it is just 20 $29.95. It's got that faceted honeycomb shape. It's got that beautiful um, sort of tendril of silver that hugs the contours of this. And because of that, your eyes drawn into it. And the actual shape of the gem, so unusual because it is that sort of stylized facet. But then you have that beautiful tendril that kind of almost 
almost gives it that honey feel even more. You know, you imagine sort of dripping honey of the dripping of amber, and this very much is recreating almost that honeycomb individual shape in the amber. So it kind of all, all blends and melds in together. This, I think, on, on this length of necklace, beautiful. Obviously, on my opera length as well, it's going to work, which I've got coming up for you in a bit. But I think as a design feature, you know, these two together, this is catwalk quality. Yeah, isn't it? it's the layered look with luxury, luxury products yeah. and, uh, you know, prices like that, it's fantastic, isn't it? Really special. Would you do much more with it than wear as is? Um, I don't think I would actually with this. I think because it's so unique. I've never seen faceted amber before. Um, so it's, I think it's, it's quite a talking point on its own right. It's just beautiful. Now there is a queue on the phone lines and I will just say if you do like it, do come on through. Stay on the phone lines. Please don't hang up because what will happen is if you hang up now and you ring back in 30 seconds, you'll be put to the back of the queue. So it's well worth you stay in exactly where you are just to ensure that you know that doesn't happen basically it's just such a beautiful design it really is it feels incredible just look at the depth of that piece it's huge it really yeah, is sizable chunk, isn't it yeah. yeah it's lovely and to have that kind of faceting work is is just astonishing it really is to be able to get amber pieces like this it's just beautiful if i just look at baltic uh can i spell no i can't baltic uh, Baltic Amber, I'm just going to look online, obviously these aren't like for like, but let me have a little nosy. See, the prices that come up, the first one that's come up, and this bear in mind is purely for the pendant, this is not for the chain, um, we're looking at £79. To my eye, it's nowhere near this size, don't get, quote me on that, but it's nowhere near my size. The one next to it I'm looking at, £69, nowhere near this size. The one after that, another £69, nowhere near this price. There's literally nothing that I can find that is anywhere near this price. Do not forget, if you do want to shop online, you absolutely can do. If you are waiting, it's jewelrymaker.com. Kerry goes, it's very easy, and it really is. It is, it's really easy. Um, so, yeah, if you are um, struggling on the phone lines and you're getting a bit bored of waiting, jewelrymaker.com. But don't forget, it's a free phone number. You know, I, um, I shop on um, by the phone as well. So if you do just want to, well, what I, I was put on hold as well the other day, and all I did was I put it on speakerphone, carried on watching whatever I was watching, and then when the answer just went, I want this, 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 and this. So you've got twenty nine ninety five. Why do you not ring from the house line? Do you not? You, do you have a home phone, Carrie? You must do. No one uses it in your house. I use my landline. Do you? We we haven't even got. Our plugged in have you not no no oh no i use my landline we, we, we do have a line, landline number but the yeah the phone isn't connected to it because nobody we don't we don't i wouldn't even know what it was without going to look at the piece of paper that we got it written on really <laughs> yeah. that's so funny <laughs> i maybe i i always use my landline i do because I think I don't really I don't really like talking on the phone that much anyway and I hate that moment when you're on your mobile and you just get a bit of a waver yeah. and they can't hear you hello oh no, it makes it so awkward yeah. so yeah. with me landline I know I'm not going to lose any refle any um whatever 29 pounds and 95 pence You've got a great deal here, so do feel free to grab it whilst you can. Free phone number, whether you use your landline or your mobile phone, from a lot of places, not everywhere, so do double check with your provider, of course. Um, but yeah, free phone number off your landline, £29.95. We're moving on to... What's that one, my love? Is it this one? Uh -huh. Now, this one's different. This one's got more of a wishbone top to it. Now, the way I've done this is I've just stranded it through like this, and I think it does look like a wishbone. What I think you're probably supposed to do is actually add a jump ring through this top section. But let me... Well, I'll show you it by itself first. See how it's got that wishbone sort of flourish at the top there? It's lovely, isn't it? Flip it over, you'll see there's a lot of sterling silver in here. Again, really supporting that beauty. And then you've got this intense, glowing quality that's coming through on that amber. It's stunning, sparkle and shine. This section um, at the top here is where you could add your jump ring. 
um, if you wanted it to sit a little bit lower. See where I mean there? Add your jump ring. But I actually quite like it like that. I do think it looks like a wishbone. You have got a price point coming on your screen right now. It's £19.95. And let me just show it to you with the other one. Um, da, da, da. I'll put it slightly on top. So the one I'm showing now, the one with that's on screen is on your top. But there you are. You can see there is a difference in size there. Slightly more genteel and delicate. And as you can see, also a little bit of a different um, finesse in the silver. So maybe choosing which one you want. There is nothing stopping you making this a pair of earrings. Because although it's chunky and sturdy, it's amber. Amber, the well... Amber floats on water, doesn't it? Amber floats in, in salt water, so it's light enough. Even if you don't want huge chunky earrings that drag your earlobes down and by the end of the night they feel quite painful, um, this isn't going to do it. You're going to get that big statement look, but without um, bat ears, as I call <laughs> it. Um, so do feel free to check these ones out and do it on jewelrymaker.com or don't forget you've got the app as well which is always useful and it is free to download. So if you wish to, do feel free. The swan's coming up in five. If you want your multicolored amber, this is the one. In, um, in answer to what we were talking about earlier on team, I agree with you. It has got a touch of the Swarovski logo about it, hasn't mm. it? The swan, the elegant, beautiful swan. Coming up for you as a star by soon. Before it, and don't forget if you want your opera length chain, I've got that coming up in a bit for you too. Oh, are you up? Oh, the dream I'm catcher. Okay, this <laughs> is going to be popular too. I love this. Love the articulation mm. on it. Love the way that it shines and sparkles. That's just gorgeous. It's so lovely, isn't it? I like the fact that it moves and you've got all that light bouncing around yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I've got seven of these available for you now. Five, five. Wayne's just talking to me about his favourite band, I presume. Five. Oh, no, that's how many we've got left. All right. Four left now, 1995. You close in deal. I've got three available. There is a loop at the top. Use it as a connector. They're all connected already. But this on your opera chain. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Over allocated now. There are more treats coming up for you. Um, I've also got an owl. I've got um, some flowers as well. So we'll move on to the next one because that is over allocated. Oh, this is your sizable piece. Did you want the three drill hold piece that I showed you before? Here it is. There you go. It's hard to see the drill holes from the side. I will point them out just to double check we can all see them. One, two, three. Three. These are your drill hole points that go all the way through, making this a perfect big spacer detail, maybe for the likes of a bangle or a cuff. You could put your wire through these. Um, duck, duck, duck. I'm trying to think, actually. You'd easily get a 0 0.4, 0 0.6 through there, I think. Do you agree, Hannah? Yeah, I think you probably would. Yeah. yeah. So you could put maybe your 0 0.6 wires through here and create a really nice woven bangle. You could use your elastic through here, like the elasticity I brought you earlier on. You can do your genuine gemstones, more of your amber from this. You could have this as a centre of an asymmetric design, maybe, actually. Yeah. Having this in a necklace, it's plenty Swags you could of gemstones do. and things coming to the to that as the feature point at the side. It'd be amazing. I love a gemstone swag. Yes. <laughs> this is the largest piece we're going to offer to you today. And um, if you do want to get a real statement talking point, then this is the one for you. It is a brilliant deal. If you consider again, let me just think for you. For example, if I show you this, think about how much space these ambers take up and then look in comparison so i could even if i if i took out all the silver if i turn that to the side and turn that to the side i could easily get two layers of this from from sections so just think one two three four this could probably make about five six of these pendants 
Yet today, we've gone to give you that luxury and, and more of that surface area that is going to exude that sparkle, that light, that beauty that Amber offers us. And you're getting it in a really wonderful, workable way. That price point on your screen is very, very low for what you're getting your hands on. Let me tell you that. It is beauty and quality. It's going to add to your designer pieces. It's going to add to, um, you know, whether you want to keep this quite ornate and maybe put, um, you know, even Swarovski with this, whether you want to keep it quite contemporary and maybe go for some of your metallic with this if you want to create something a little bit more uh, sort of linear let's say something like this maybe with your pearls coming from it would be absolutely beautiful I'll just show you it again from the side there's so much you could pair with this isn't there yeah I mean I, I think if I if I was making myself a, a big multi stretchy bracelet I'd, I'd have turquoise in there I might have some um, carnelian in there oh. I might have some more amber beads in there but different colors of amber beads really mix it up, but I think it looked fantastic all together. Mm. And you can just pop it on, really easy to wear. And you're done and dusted, aren't you? £29.95, this is something very, very, very special indeed. So what is this? Tell me what's different about this. Sorry, I'm speaking to the people in my team. Okay. Oh. What I'm about to bring to you now, it's not a star buy, oh no. It's an advent deal. This deal we're about to do for you is very, very special because we have had to collect some of the best quality and rarer seen colours of amber out there in the world and we have had to get them in the perfect shape and size to fit our individual design. This design has been hand sketched in Poland in Gdansk by a wonderful working team that we work very closely with. And what they do is they individually sketch out this design by hand. They will then be approved or not and many, many people will have a go at creating something and essentially, you know, the best one will be picked. Then what happens is this sketch will be put into um, computer format, which can take a couple of days, dependent on the intricacy. This is then put into a 3D printer. And only then does the actual start of this pendant begin. After that, it's all to do with getting the right amount of silver, placing it in perfectly, making sure that we've got the right colours and sizes and designs of the amber, oh, apologise, of the amber to go into it. It's then about making sure that you have got enough openness to the back of these so that the light can shine through. It's about getting those beautiful pieces of the silver in wonderfully so that they swirl and etch and ebb. And you'll be able to see there are recessed sections to this. So you need to make sure that even the recessed sections are um, highly polished up. You know, they're not um, dull in comparison to the rest of it. That takes more time than you might actually think. All of this step by step is done in a very independent manner by artisans who have been working with this gemstone and respecting this gemstone for generations as in in their family for generations starting off with a pencil and a piece of paper it's that kind of work and that kind of dedication that goes into creating something that is quite honestly stylish, beautiful, contemporary and wearable. It looks like a stained glass window of amber. It has this fluidity and movement that almost tells a story of how the amber itself were born and, and, and you know how we managed to collect this. You have got a lot of workmanship that has gone into this and I think it's, it's safe to say that this is something, uh, somewhat of a crowd pleaser, I would say. It truly, truly is. What we've got here, do you know what? I'm looking right now, and I'm not afraid to tell you this, I'm looking right now at a swan which looks the same to me. It's in sterling silver. The only difference is that this one I'm looking at is one color amber and it's this color amber, which is one of the more common colors. 
the greens, etc., and the cognac colours are rarer to get and therefore they cost you more. Each one of these ambers will cost a different price. Um, I'm looking at one right now and it is a beautiful piece, very, very similar. And I am looking at 37, 38, 39, 40. 41. I'm trying to add on potion packaging. I'm looking at £41, let's say. It's actually just more than that. But I've got rarer colours here. I've got rarer colours. So I would expect, what, an extra £20? An extra £30? What do you want? £70? £60? £50? How about if I price matched it? £41. This is solid sterling silver with etchings from start to finish some of the rarest beautiful colors of your baltic amber dating back minimum of around 45 million years to you today for 29 pounds and 95 pence that is why we had to make this an absolute you know head turner of of a of a deal for you i think what you have here is artistry and beauty and you can see it's it's conceptually something that I think anyone can appreciate, anyone can adore. Pair this with the 16 inch chain I did earlier on, or the opera length chain I'm gonna do in a few moments, and it is going to work beautifully. This is a really captivating piece, but, you know, we made it an advent deal. 24 pounds and 95 pence, it's your advent deal today. That honestly, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, knowing of the sort of gem events and things that I've, I've been to myself, and um, sometimes with the industry, sometimes, you know, open to all, I know full well that I personally, because I, I, you know, as an individual don't have the opportunity to buy, you know, 600 pieces of amber or whatever and therefore get a discount deal. I know full well as a consumer going to gem events, buying individual pieces, I know full well the green ambers in this alone I wouldn't be able to purchase by themselves at the price you're seeing and I know that for an absolute fact that for that quality for the beauty for the amount for the sort of you know finesse and thought that's gone into this process for 24.95 is is pretty sensational it's incredible isn't it? it's just it's beautiful anyway I love the mixture of the colors together mm. I love the styling as well I think that it's a really sort of pleasing kind of shape in its own right yeah but then for the, that price is just incredible it's just such a bargain, isn't it? It really is. It truly, truly is. And, um, of course, you know, we think of swans, and they do have lots of connotations. You think of... When I think of swans, I always think, you, if, you know, you see lots of pictures of swans sort of in heart yeah. shape, don't you? Yeah. Sort of bowing their heads in together. So you might think of them of, of, of kind of loving animals. They're very um, serene as well, aren't they? But also, actually... When I give a gift uh, to someone, I always like to, I very rarely will just give a gift because I think it's pretty or I think they'll like it. For me, this could be quite a nice gift for maybe someone who's had a bit of a tough 2018 because we talk about swans quite often as looking serene on the surface whilst paddling, you know, frenziedly to stay afloat underneath the water. Obviously, there are people I'm sure that you know in your family or in your friendship group who might have just had a year like that, you know, whereby they have to kind of try and keep it together. But actually, it's just been like wading through treacle. It's been a bit of a struggle. Struggle. What a gorgeous gift to give. Maybe with a little note written about that in a card or maybe even a little quote or just you sort of saying, look, I know you've had a tough time and, and here's a special gift for you. So that... You know, even if times don't improve anytime soon, they can look at that piece in their jewellery box or when they wear it and think of you and think, do you know what? I've got a bit of support there. And, um, you know, they're going to kind of have those connotations and thoughts of you. And I think it's a beautiful way of giving a gorgeous gift that says so much and can be worn for any occasion as well, you know? I think that is such a beautiful item. Mm. I think it, it says a lot. And um, I think whoever you gift that to is going to be actually overawed that you have managed to get a piece as exquisite and unusual as this. Yes, definitely. Well done to all of you. Um, I wish I could be a fly on the wall when you gift that to someone because I know it's going to raise smiles. Huge well done to you. Um, I've got now a really big pendant. This is one for your opera chain, it isn't is, it? It is, isn't it? What does this make you think of? It's quite an unusual design. I'm sure there's a designer it's making me think of. I just can't think of what it is right now. Um, well, it's, I don't know. It's, it's, it could almost be sort of um, 
like a 60s or a 70s sort of era pattern or something yeah. I know I can't I can't pin it to a particular designer at the moment it has actually got quite a uh, fabric prints yeah. feel to it almost like your screen printing actually if you like your screen printing this could be quite a good one to go with it wow 29 pounds and 95 pence the silver weight on this has got to be huge do we have a silver weight on it where are my weights oh but hey up oh wait didn't the battery die in this the other day oh no we've re we've rejigged it don't forget this isn't going to be exactly the silver but amber pretty much weighs nothing so <laughs> 7.53 so i am very safely saying you're getting around about seven grams worth of um silver alone in there and that's not paying attention to the amber at all um this is an incredible amount of silver alone if i were to buy this take out all the ambers if i were to buy this just as is i'd be happy at 29.95 just for the um silver weight actually yeah i mean it's, it's a sizable pendant yeah. there's loads of amber there's loads of silver yeah. what's not to love it is stunning, isn't it? Very, very beautiful indeed. And um, you have got one of the um, lightest, well, it is essentially, in essence, the lightest gemstone on the planet of quality, but you've got that gravitas of the big f sort of um, profile of this with all of that silver. So pop it on your opera length chain. It's going to make it sit really nice. And um, it's, it's going to be quite a standout, even over your heavy knits. Oh yeah, definitely. They, well, also long line necklaces make you look slimmer as well. So I think it's very got an added true. Bonus in the festive uh, period when people might be overindulging slightly. Yeah, yeah. yeah why yeah. not? <laughs> Gabrielle Chanel said that, didn't she? She said that if you wear your thirty-inch necklaces, it makes you appear slimmer because it draws people's eyes to the middle of your body. Mm -hmm. And if it's good enough for Gabrielle Chanel, it's good enough for us. Um, let me remind you of the owl. Do you mind handing it to me, my love? It's too far away. Um, that's coming up in this hour. Um, you're going to really, really like it if you are into your owl designs because they are, um, it's a motif that we really see a lot. Oh, isn't yeah, it? definitely. There's all kinds of different um, um, connotations with owls as well, yeah, aren't there? Yeah, like loads. Wisdom and knowledge and so much. It's just next to you, my love. Oh, it's tiny. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. There you go. There he is. And this one hasn't just got the eyes. It's got like a plumage. Oh, ooh. do it, look. Oh, look at him. Cutting a marquee's cut is very tricky. Oh, way up. It's like old Brown from Peter Rabbit. Oh, yeah. He lives on the island. Yes. <laughs> it reminds me of something else and it will come to me. Hmm. Hmm, I'll think on it. Yes, you'll. Ooh. Oh, perfect. So, oh. did you get this one? Or. The other. Did you get any of these? You got your pendants. Maybe this is earrings. This is pendant. Now, how's about give you your connector? Perfect for your slider, isn't it? Perfect for your slider bracelet or like a, a lovely asymmetric necklace. Um, this is a divine piece. Let me show you all the way around it. Again, it's got these lovely lianas of silver that wrap around this. There you go, £24.95, your deal on this one today. It's got a really intriguing um, sort of finish to it. Um, I think this is lovely. What would you do with this, Hannah? Um, well, I, I think because it's got the natural curve to it, it's crying out to be um, part of a bracelet. So mm -hmm. um, it might be nice to have like a sterling silver um, wire wrapped bangle of some sort, or you could use your slider, as you mentioned earlier. Yeah. Um, you could even do chain mail, something like that. Ooh. That'd be quite, you know, quite a dramatic sort of um, combination of things, I think. I agree with you on that. Mm. You have got something that can be quite dramatic when you've got that amount of silver. Absolutely. Why not? And you've got that facet work again coming through from this. So with that sort of facet work, let me hold it here. You know, it, it gives you two types of interaction, which again makes it very, very noticeable, doesn't it? It almost like the facets, I think, right? It, it kind of, it almost looks like it's still molten when you're looking at it. And I don't know Perfect if it's just because it's the, the, the fasting that, that means you see through it more. Yeah, no, you're right. But yeah, you almost expect it to sort of drip or something. Off, off Do you know the what? You'll feel the same about this oh, one. Wow. How oh, about this on your opera chain? That's fab, isn't it? 
£24.95 pence is your deal on this one. Really lovely, as we say, the way it kind of almost looks like it's moving, the way it almost looks like it's, um, you know, still being formed from that tree, that really viscous finesse and finish. You've got that continual set of stone and silver, actually. If I flip it over, you can see it is a continual element. Um, so it's not just like pretty at the front and then a bit or on the back. It really is truly beautiful. It's got such a wonderful finesse and feel. It's got real sparkle and shine. And it is a brilliant £24.95. pence. If you do want to get your hands on this, it's 0800 644 655. How are the phone lines looking now, Wayne? Eh? Yeah, they're fine. The fine call centre have caught up. They're absolutely fine, says lovely Wayne. So if you do want to uh, come in on that way, do. But if you are more of a jewellery maker dot comma, then do so that way. Okay. The frog. My tree frog. Ha oh, ha. Tropical tree frog. Oh, bigger than I thought he was, actually. Aw. I love the green as well. Your tropical tree frog. With tropical tree colours. Tropical tree frog colours. You have got your gorgeous green amber, which is one of the rarest colours. And because it's a, it's one of the rarest colours because it has to have formed sort of, you know, at a specific time in the actual growth of the tree. And you've got this beautiful tropical tree frog appearance. So if you maybe have anybody who supports the rainforests or who maybe at Christmas they donate money for you for a cause you know to do with nature uh, to do with um, the rainforest because it's that time of year isn't it where not everybody gifts gifts you might gift on someone's behalf to a charity this would be a lovely um, little takeaway from that 21 pounds and 95 pence i think for the green amber you could be charging double that and in fact when we had marius on uh, myself and marius who is our connection in gedanks um who collects the amber and, and actually makes the designs um when um, myself and Marius um, did a show together, um, he was saying that there are some designs such as this that he doesn't just sell to jewellery maker, he sells to other people and to other places and they will maybe put them on chains or put them into designs. And he said truly he was absolutely shocked at the low, low prices we were doing, in particularly on the ones like the green uh, variety of amber uh, because of that scarcity, because of that unusualness. And um, it really is a true, beautiful green. Just in case you don't know, we do back our green um, ambers as well. But just to let you know, that doesn't just turn any old amber any old colour. As you can see, there's backing on here. So that strengthens the colour. But were that not to be green, when you looked across it now, obviously it would just look orangey. You can still tell that it's very green. It's just by backing it that you can actually see that strength of colour better. So it, it also helps actually with its longevity too because um, green can, um, with light shining through it, it, it can diminish if you don't look after it properly. As with anything, you know, if you leave an amethyst in your front window for six months, the colour is likely to fade quite dramatically. Um, okay, what is this one? Dropper. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Triple drop now. Ooh. Now that's good for a slider, no? Or an earring. Earrings, definitely earrings. If you do it in earrings, maybe I'd do it that way then, would I? <laughs> to point down to my necklace. You've got three individual sections here that almost look like ripe pears ready for the picking. What you have is this incredible intensity of the green again shining through and you've got articulation to each section. But the interesting thing with this is you have fully 3D articulation, it's 1995, fully 3D. So what I mean by that is it rocks forward, it rocks back but it also goes side to side as well and it will go in a bit of a loop for you too. A lot of the time if you're getting elements like this it will always be hinged so there's the only the possibility of it to go forward and back. That's all well and good but we want amber to sparkle and so if you're imagining these in earrings as you're walking every step they're moving in a full 360 um, sort of finesse and therefore they're catching that light beautifully. £19.95 and pence. you are getting the um, Gedankst mark on it, you're getting the 95 mark on it as well. And you're getting all of that solid sterling silver in here for 19 95 
it's just so rich and it does bend beautifully if you want it as a, a bangle as well a bracelet it's very pretty say. isn't it like that mm. yeah so it doesn't just sit flat it kind of arches and moves with you Just thinking you could actually add that into my belcher chain as well. Yeah, this belcher chain I did before. If a 16 inch, inch belcher chain isn't for you and you want to make it longer, how about you use this as the extender? Because the links are large enough, just cut it out, get the 0.4 sterling silver wire I did for you earlier on, add this in. Because of the length of it, you're going to be adding sort of an inch and a half to the necklace. Just an idea. Okay. I'm about to bring to you this cutesy design. It stands for Wibson, it, wisdom. It stands for um, um, beauty, and also stands for family. This is your Alistair Bay. I am bringing to you. Your very beautiful, individually plumed owl. Usually when I bring you the owl, they've got two big eyes and then they've got one individual bit of a tummy. But this time they've got the individual tool, uh, uh, plumes, the individual feathers. To be able to create a marquee shape, as we know, marquee shape when it comes to any gemstone is one of the most wasteful of all of the shapes. So I have got as you can see, a multitude of quite a high uh, wastage, low yield shape with this. And because of that, you can see already you've got a real luxury design. But I think it really does add to the personality of this. It mimics what you would expect the feathers to be like. Yes, yeah. It tells sense. the story. It gives you that wonderful look. It is caressed in solid sterling silver, which we've kept open at the sides, as you can see. And you have got that wonderful heat meets cool going through from that hot, smouldering amber against that ice cool silver. It's solid stone silver. Today it's £29.95 for a real talking point creature. It's real sort of, you know, animal of farthing wood. It's very yeah. kind of, um, you know, the... Um, the one in Bambi, as you said before, the one in Peter Pan. You know, it's it's really beautiful. It's almost cartoon esque, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. I think I think because it's um, it's got just like the, the big round haunted eyes like that. It's it's a, it could be any of the owls from any of the different stories. But I like the fact that it's like it's got all these um, it's like family um, connotations and, yeah. and wisdom and yeah. things like that. I like things that have a story to it. I do too. That team with the fact that Amber has a story to it anyway. It's a win-win, isn't it? it? Is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a win-win situation and it is £29.95. Don't forget, if you are loving this kind of beauty and this kind of shape, I did lowest, this was a launch and we did lowest ever price, we did a launch price offer, which means I don't have to repeat it again on this strand for you earlier on. It should have been, uh, first time you've seen it was in a kit of a web price of uh, over £99. Then we brought it to you at £79.95 and we dropped it dramatically to £49.95. But I'm just thinking as a pairing, that might work quite nicely. One sort of above if you want this on a long opera chain, for example, which I've got coming up for you. If you want the opera chain, it's not far off. I do have to move on. Oh, I'll catch him in a bit. Good job, it's strong. Uh, da -da -da. This is the rose. Oh. I think this is so delicate and pretty and the fact that it's all etched is just stunning. Isn't it? Lovely, isn't it beautiful? Isn't it? A rose with its lovely foliage. When you turn it over to the back as well, which is another thing I love, it's almost like a, a different flower design in the actual sterling silver. Yeah, I like that because it doesn't matter if it spins round. The back's just as beautiful as the front almost, isn't yeah. it? Nice sizable bale which you could just slide onto a chain without really having to take the clasp yeah, off. Yeah, again, it's a win-win there. Saves time. You've got beautiful unfolding rose petals of genuine amber for just 
19 pounds and 95 pence if you do like any of these that you're seeing uh, just to let you know just to remind you should i say if you're spending over 35 pounds today you get the five pound voucher with the code your treat but i will just let you know that um you do have to um sort of pounce on that asap um purely because I can guarantee it during the live hours. It is all weekend, mind it. I have got it on tomorrow as well, but it's good to make the most of it whilst you can, if that makes sense. I've got a drop for you now of amber. No sterling silver included, just pure amber. That is forming in the drop. There is an elegance about a drop. There is a beauty about a drop design, and you have just solid, uh, just solid amber here. No sterling silver. So if you wanted to pair this with base metal, or genuine gold, you could. It's up to you. So you've got your drill hole at the top there. You have got beautiful, big 3D element for just $17.95. It looks as it forms. It looks like this beautiful, viscous um, sort of liquid seeping from the prehistoric trees. And you have got incredible intensity and glow to it with that drill hole, 17 pounds and 95 pence. You can add whatever you want to this because it's one of the few pieces that has no sterling silver to it. So you can add as and when you wish. Um, beautiful again actually with you know something like this if you wanted to perfect to go alongside it in whichever way you wanted to you know maybe in a set of earrings yes it'd be decadent but it's christmas you deserve it um it's at 17 pounds and 95 pence for that one and i will just let you know i'm getting quite low in stock on some of the amber some has officially sold out and we're talking about the both of the bees the honeycomb is also sold out we're pretty sure that the um dream catcher is sold out um so i will just let you know that if you're hearing any of these things thinking oh maybe should i shouldn't i i would definitely say react sooner rather than later because we are having things selling out and obviously people are tuning in every sort of few minutes and um having a little nosy back on jewelrymaker.com this is the final one before i do the opera chain what a great center point for the likes of your charm bracelet this if you were to go into i don't know what pandora um the, and the likes let's say um and get a charm like this with genuine amber in it would it be under 80 pounds would it be under 50 don't forget when you get certain charms from certain places like that more often than not they're not genuine gemstones in there and the start price is about 45 pounds this is a genuine gemstone and it's under 20. Your graphics are coming like your graphics are live the price is about to come in it's going under 20 it's going under 10. Wow. nine pounds and 95 oh. pence <laughs> have it as you wish what about having this as that centralized point for your stretchy bracelet you know you hide mm -hmm. your stretchy bracelet with the knot underneath it's going to be absolutely perfect in a design with with maybe big i don't know you put whatever big jadeites next to this maybe you've already got some amber rounds next to this that would go absolutely beautiful if you've got big nucleated pearls why not you know one of these dead set and center stunning there's so much you could do with elements like this but as i always say you can't do anything with it if you don't get it home so now's your time to get involved it's our only piece of amber under 10 pounds in this hour so do make the most of it whilst you can actually really not a bad idea it, yeah it would look fantastic actually with these clear quartz rounds can I that have got kit. yeah for half a half a twiddle We've got a uh, clear quartz, yeah, clear quartz coming up with a kit. I'm just thinking, that's going to really sing if you squidge them up together. Yeah, look at oh, that. Oh, that works. And it draws your eye even more into the amber, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it, well, it bounces the light around them, doesn't it? So, so it just, you know, you get that lovely pop of colour then. Yeah. I have actually got some very special clear quartzes coming up in the next hour. I've got stars in clear quartz and i've got really uh beautiful kit that hannah's made up in clear quartz you are going to love the kit thank you so much for letting me learn that Hannah. um right i'm bringing you the opera chain now so here it is it's sitting um your opera chain it's so elegant it really just sort of uh you know make you look make you stare <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna finish that, <laughs> that no that childhood rhyme <laughs> 
brand new today, never before seen by itself, your beautiful opera chain with this speaker design. When you place your amber on, it sits beautifully, it, it rests so wonderfully, it rests so nicely. And you are getting here a full 30 inches with that clasp that is included. You can see the intricacy of this chain. You can see how much work and effort was gone into creating this. £14.95. Yep, £14.95 for your opera length chain that shows this beauty, that shows this elegance. No problem, Kerry. That shows this beauty, that shows this elegance, that shows that kind of, you know, wonder of light interaction. £14.95. Wayne's just gone and gone. It's brand new. I can do a launch price offer on this, so I'm gonna. Whoa! That for an opera length <laughs> chain that shows you that beauty, that elegance, that gives you that refined finish is so sophisticated. That is a real, you know, if you're a discerning jewellery creator, I'm definitely saying this is your one to come in and get your hands on because I do need to say this, because this has never been seen by itself before. That is a launch price offer. I can't guarantee it any other time. So grab it whilst you can and don't go anywhere because after the break, we're going to be getting ready for some kids. Are you new to Jewellery Maker? For a limited time, we're offering new customers a wonderful free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful genuine gemstone strands in an organza bag. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will be automatically added to your order when you make your first purchase. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, colour and type will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your gemstones, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Our Jewellery Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people. that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. If you're looking for the perfect gift this year, then choose the Jewellery Maker gift voucher. Available in £10 and £50 denominations. Contact us now on 0800 644 655 and give the gift of choice this Christmas. Sparkle Saturday, introducing Druzy. 
beautiful, sparkling gorgeousness. Enjoy. So, Druzy, how does it form? Because it almost looks like someone's gone down the local craft shop, dobbed a bit of glue on it and, and rubbed a glitter on it. Now, if that were the case, that would come off absolutely everywhere. So it's not. This effect is actually mm. a natural effect. This is Mother Nature showing us that actually glitz and glam, you can take it to the nth degree. And what I've got for you here is true glitz glam quality. So essentially, and it forms in a couple of different ways, but what happens is you get a geode. This is the most common way it's created. You get a geode, which is like a hollow uh, rock that is quite porous. And what happens is little elements sort of, um, imagine... Think of it like a sponge, okay? So something crosses over it, like liquids of silica, um, um, often quite warm, um, because obviously it's quite deep down in the crust of the earth. And what happens is it, they get sucked in to this geode. And because of things like the pressure changing, the heat changing, because of the depth changing, and sometimes because they're um, excavated earlier than uh, letting them fully form what happens is these elements these crystals freeze in time and because they freeze in time they don't fully form so if you imagine all of these letting them grow let them grow let them grow what will happen is after a while they'll all connect up and there you are you've got one big full finesse and finish but take it out just at the right time and you get this snapshot this moment of naturally occurring mother nature glitter and sparkle There is really nothing else that I can think of that Mother Nature creates that sparkles in a way like this. You get ripples atop of water, of course, but even that isn't quite as intensive as the sparkle that Druzy can give you. What we're offering to you today is that natural texture that has then got that beautiful silver colouring to it, which just intensifies it even more. So... I'm starting off with the ovals for you. I've got five on my strand. This is a recap. It has been popular. Due to its popularity, my quantity has been quashed quite dramatically. So I do not have a huge amount left. If you want to make occasion wear, if you want to make head turning elements, I would definitely suggest you get in on the phone lines now. These are your ovals. They should have been 1995. Today, and today only guaranteed, because it's the deal of the day, we halved the price. £9.95, brilliant. they were £19.95, we've halved the price for you today. It is brilliant, that, yeah. isn't it? Do you remember when we used to do, um, like, three little three ones pieces. on a strand? Correct. Three pieces on, on yeah. a card or on a strand. Yeah. It? Yeah. This is amazing. And even then, yeah. nine ninety five. Maybe they were ninety five. Maybe they were fourteen ninety five. I can't really remember. I think they started off at about fourteen. Fourteen, I thought and so. And then came back down a little bit. Yeah, but they weren't these. They weren't no. these dramatic pieces, were they? No, no, not at all. Like that'd be the size of your central one. Uh, out of three, you know, the others would be, uh, you know, a little bit unusual in shape and everything else. I think they're absolutely divine. I could so imagine you whipping up a storm with these. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I'd do the, the whole, the, the seed bead bezeling effect around it, maybe some bead embroidery, make some like, amazing sparkly, like, Christmas piece or party piece, and it just... They're just so, like, giving, aren't they? You know, you get so much bling from yeah, one stone. It's you amazing. Really do. You really, truly do. And remember, if you did want to, you know, put gems, to, uh, seed beads around them or wire around them or whatever, there's a lot of depth to these. So if you are someone who's a bit worried maybe about doing your wire work, you're like, oh, gosh, I don't know if I'll be able to sort of grip the wire around it. Because this is so deep, but also because it is angular, you see how these aren't smoothed off? Because it's angular, you have got grip there. And if you've got purchase, you've got elements in your designs that you know are going to last. Um, you've got pieces that you know are going to sort of grip into place, in essence. So that is beautiful, Strand. I've also got the drops for you here. <laughs> wow. Seem to get more of the, on the drops. Uh, more individually, purely, probably just due to the fact that the carrot weight's slightly altered. One of these, I always think, I always think a drop acts as like a, a, a 
punctuation mark. Yeah, yeah. It's a no. focal point as well, isn't it? So because depending on which way around you, you sort of use it, it's either like it's it's either going to a, a point where it's weighted in the centre or it's pointed towards the middle, like focusing downwards. Mm. Either way, it's kind of directional, so mm. it's it's a useful thing to have in, in a piece of jewellery. Very, very useful. That's a good word mm. for it. Should have been... As I've said before, 1995 today though, we half the price. That is only because Yay. it is the deal of the day, okay? <laughs> so only because it's the deal of the day can I guarantee that. Um, come tomorrow then, uh, I can't. If you're watching on the repeat, hello future people. If you are watching on the repeat come eight o'clock, this will be back up to 1995 if there are any left over. Can I also just say to you, I was just looking at the drill hole there, let me show you. Because it's pretty remarkable to be honest. Um, because you've got a decent sized drill hole in here, you can see, imagine getting your 0.4, running it through a couple of times and then adding it on to, you guessed it, your opera, your opera train. Because I think these are, that is perfect. I've got a boring old little black dress that I've worn, you know, 18 times. Um, I've had it for years. This is the type of thing that you can pop onto a long opera chain and all of a sudden you've taken that everyday bit of dress to sparkly new levels. Definitely. Especially if you get some sparkly shoes to, to set them off. Rude not to. <laughs> 9095 pence. I've got to move on because I've got so much to come, including, of course, this incredible mm. kit. And also, let me let you know, I've got some special courses coming up. I'm going to pick out my favourite, I think. Da -da -da, where have you gone? Oh, no, I've really got half of them. Here they are. There's a few, actually, that I know you're going to love in here. Um, I think, Hannah, I think you're going to like this one. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Look at that. Very unusual to see, ice. isn't it? Ice. Ice, ice, baby. Do, 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 do. And then, this is my fave. Oh. Oh, they cute. Do you mean then, Brianna? The camera, she just went, oh. <laughs> you like them, Maisie? They're cute, aren't they? They're really nice. So they're coming up for you in a bit. Uh, before all of that though, um, who fancies a bit of creativity? Yeah. And not just any old creativity. <laughs> I mean, you've had fun I with just, this. I just really love the colour combination. I love the fact that we've got lovely natural gemstones in there with seed beads. And then because it's clear, it's all like bounces around. I, lo I love anything that allows the light in. Yeah. It, it kind of shines out of itself, you know, it's lovely. It takes itself to a different level, mm. doesn't it? Now, we saw Hannah wearing this necklace earlier on, and um, you could see it just sits so beautifully, doesn't it? It, it does, but it also it sort of radiates whatever colour you're wearing as well. So I, I've, I've put it sort of with a corally orangey pink colour because it's got sort of, like, sort of rose gold tints in there, but you could put it with anything. Yeah, and it's going and to... And it would magnify the colours magnifying sing yeah. definitely um this is a really beautiful kit and truthfully the discount deal you're going to get on this is one of the best i've seen for quite some time it really is a bit baffling to be entirely honest with you so i will just prepare you for that now um because it is going to be popular so as you can see you're getting clear quartz in here and you're getting the two different sizes why is that a good thing to have the two different sizes. Mm. Um, I think it just allows Same you term. to do all kinds of um, graduated designs and you, like it, it allows you to create a pattern because mm. it's essentially the same shape, the same gemstone, the same colour, or absence of colour in this case, um, then, <laughs> oh, shot glasses. Um, it just means shot that you- Shot glasses? You, that's what they look Hannah, like. <laughs> you've really shown yourself up there. That looks like she's offering me, you know, a little tipple. Merry Christmas. <laughs> It's not, it's beads, it's better. <laughs> don't you think? I'm going to show no, myself up there, don't you think? I thought she'd offered me a Shock. drink. It's like, Shock. we're at work, what's going on? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sambuka, anyone? Yeah, Rana's in the queue. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more champagne. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Champagne. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Continuing as you were. Yeah, uh, so I was just saying, because you've got the same um, gemstones, uh, but in different sizes, it means you can do all sorts of di different patterns and they just sit beautifully together. Yeah. 
So uh, yeah, so I've, I've gone gem heavy um, and kind of made this massive necklace, mm -hmm. if you like, and then yeah. a simple pair of earrings to set them off. And they do set them off again because it is a it is a full theme because i suppose what you could have done is you could have taken the motif and copied it in the set of earrings yeah, and you could do that too well, that's the great thing with a kit like this and i think the way you've shown it off hannah that they do pair up nicely together whilst we're talking on the quartz let me let you know you've got 280 carats worth on the 10 mil and then you've got 80 carats worth on the 6 mil so you've got that lovely pairing, lovely workability. And as we've said, they go with absolutely everything. It's impossible for them not to. As well as that, I'm also bringing to you a rose gold plated findings pack. Yeah. Now, as we mentioned earlier on, Hannah is not just one of our guest designers. She's also part of our um, sort of kit team. So you've kind of whipped this up for yourself. Was rose gold the natural choice for you? Um, I, yeah, I think I just wanted to have something that was kind of classic that you could wear with anything. So it had to be um, like a metallic colour. And mm. then when I thought, well, hang on a minute, we've got findings packs which are obviously metallic as well. Um, so I just tried to match the uh, the seed beads as best I could to the um, findings. Mm. And then uh, I think the clear quartz just magnifies everything out. And it's magnifying all of those beautiful mm. bubbles of the seed beads. So you're getting the pearl and you're getting that lovely kind of rose gold colour there. Um, so let's see what we could have paid for this. That necklace. If you saw that, be honest with yourself. If you saw that at a craft fair for that price point, the necklace, I personally would think, hmm, are they actual real quartz or is that glass? Because that price seems far too low for that necklace, obviously, understandably. So I wouldn't actually trust that price if it was just for the necklace alone. We are not stopping there, mind you. We're going down dramatically. And I promise you a dramatic price drop, and I meant it. £27.95 pounds and 95 pence like is your, that is a really, really incredible deal with what you've got here. You have two huge tubes of the seed beads. You've got the big findings pack, remember, that comes with a metre of your chain, your featherweight head pins, you know, big, big, big amount in there. And you've got two strands of your genuine gemstones. This kit is not one to be overlooked. That kit with that price discount and the price drop on that was £14.80 but as I mentioned earlier on that beginning price point is so much lower than we would normally expect. It, yeah I mean it's just amazing value it's to do with the the, uh, the brilliance of uh, Marie and her buying power and things like that and finding deals would bring at such an affordable price because you get yeah. so much in the kit. Yeah. And that is the thing, affordability in a kit, and you get free inspiration as well, don't you, from um, our lovely guest designer, Hannah, here. I just think this is really a time to sort of really get involved, a time to really think about reacting, because we do not get to see paired up together seed beads and gemstones often. But I know that's something that you really like favorite, doing. It's my favourite thing to do now. Yeah. It's just, I've, I've been bitten by the bug definitely when it comes to uh, seed beads. I've always loved gemstones. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's a natural choice for me. And look at how it's paid off. Pays off absolutely beautifully. <laughs> really does. Um, plenty of you have now got this in your baskets. You are checking out slowly but surely, so we appreciate that. Um, let me just let you know too. I'm just having a little nosy right now. Da, 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 da. Yeah, you see, what I'm looking at right now is at my, at our website at the moment. Um, our website at the moment, we have 8 mil rounds. We have 6 mil rounds at 13.95, and we have 8 mil rounds at 14.95. So the fact that in this collection I'm bringing to you 10 mil rounds and 6 mil rounds, I would therefore expect to be paying more for the two strands alone. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm yeah. getting a free big findings pack, in my mind, and two free big tubes of your seed beads for free. They're all free. It's pretty incredible. So do grab it whilst you can, and... It's what I like to do is I like to make a note of the code 
I might do it on my phone or, or write it down, make a note of the code, make a note of today's date and time as well. So when you get this delivered to you in a few working days, you can go onto YouTube, type in Jewelry Maker, click on to the, um, the, uh, our channel, go to videos and then you'll just see in date order this show and you can skip to this part and you can start making along because I know there's a lot of people who are going to want to follow this demonstration and we're actually going to demo a section which will show you how to complete the full thing really yeah, aren't we? Yeah so it's it's um, a netted design and it's repetitive so I'll do a section of it and then essentially you just keep going until you've got the length of necklace that you want. Um, so whether you just do a little section and then have um, something else at the side of it or whether you want to adapt it and turn it into something else that's entirely up to you but it's it's all about simple techniques mm. and then following a pattern yeah just to let you know i've got less than 70 of this kit available now we are quite considerably more so just to forewarn you it is popular let's get making right so i'm gonna have to look at this to, to count how many beads i've used okay. essentially you can do netting with any number of beads mm -hmm. as long as you can make little diamond shapes um, and okay. that's, that's the sort of the secret to it. So it has to be even numbers then, does it? Um, not, not, necess necessarily. not necessarily. Mm, not okay. necessarily. Not <laughs> necessarily. Yeah. So um, I've started off. Right. Started off. I've put a stopper bead on. Um, I probably should have had black background. Never mind. That's fine. So Would I, you like me to get you one? Well, no, because I'll, I'll move all the beads. I think you okay. can actually see it up there. It's just my eyesight. I honestly think I need to get my eyes tested. <laughs> Do you wear glasses? You wear glasses in the office. No, no. I think I probably should though. Mm -hmm. and, I'm, and, and people keep like seeing me squinting up there. It's because there's a big screen up there and I can see it better than this one. <laughs> right, so you put your stopper bead on. Uh, you, you put on seven of these um, sort of pearlescent colour 11 O's. Then one of your rose gold, three of the pearls, one of the rose gold, three more of the pearls, one rose gold, one of the pearls and one of your smaller um, quartzes, mm -hmm. then another one of the uh, little pearl colour ones, and then I'm going to come back up through that quartz, so I'm kind of going around that last bead, and then I'm also going to come up through the two beads just before it as well, so coming out of the rose gold one. So I'm just going to feed that through. Give it a little wiggle. So that's kind of one side of the diamond. So the other side is just going to be like copying the pattern. So I'm going to pick up three of the pearl, one of the rows, and three. And then you're looking to make a sort of a diamond shape. So the first one's always going to be a bit strange because it's got nothing to, to pull the shape out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back up through from that first rose gold, if I can get it in there, all the way up through to the top again, like that. So you get your first little section and if you were to pull those apart slightly you can kind of see the, the first diamond shape. It is slightly difficult because of the colour scheme but bear with me. So then I'm going to pick up uh, three of the rose gold one of the uh, pearl and one of the smaller size of the quartz, mm -hmm. another one of the pearl, and then three of the rows, one, two, and three, and feed those down. I do love those colours. Yeah, I think they're really pretty. They do look so beautiful. And quite nice, actually, this design, using the different colours in that way, if you're a beginner, I guess. Yes, yeah. Well, I, I think you, I mean, you can team it with anything you like, really. Right, the key thing here is I'm going to pick up that um, rose gold one that's on the outer point of the diamond mm -hmm. on the previous row. So I'm going to sew through there. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up three. Um, one two, three, and then one, and I'm just going to count how many I've done. I think it's, I think it's five. I just want to have a quick look at, so it's exactly the same. One, two, three. Can I, can I move it? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I think it's five. Yeah. This is where I need my eyes testing again, isn't it? Right. One, two, three, four, and five. Feed those down. 
and then I'm going to do a pearl one and then one of the larger of the quartzes so that this like, gives you a bit of weight to the design and it will hold it down um, sort of into the little fringe design that we're making. One of the pearl and then three of the rose gold. So feed those all on. And then at this point we're going to skip all of those rose gold and then go back up through the pearl ones and all the way up until you get to that little pearl one there. So that's, I didn't explain that very well. So you go back up from the bottom there, skipping all of the rose gold ones. So what happens is you get this little shape forming at the bottom here. Hang on, out of shot. There we go. So you get the little section of three here. You've passed the needle back up through all of these beads until you get to this pearl one that's halfway up here. And then we're going to make the other side of the diamond and then go back up the way again. Okay. So in this case, you've got to include this one here that you would stitch through normally. So you've got three, four, five, six, seven of the rose gold to come up the other side. Two, three. Hang on, I'll pull these down a bit. Four, five, six, seven, Oops, like that. And then these are going to go up through the pearl bead and the quartz and exit out of the pearl one at the top. So try not to hook that in. Okay, so you've got your slightly longer drop here. And then I'm going to repeat the pattern. Just checking I've got an eye. So I've got three of the rows and then if you see we're not doing a mirror image here so we're now going to repeat this first section here. So I think it was seven of the pearl ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll thread those on like that. And then a rose and three of the pearl again. One of the rows. Can you see those? I'm going to just pull this down and move this up. That's better, isn't it? I'm trying to feed them on so you can see where I'm going all the time. Oh, there you go. Lost concentration. I'm just going to take this one off again because. What I actually want to do is hook through this diamond here. So recapping, we've got three of the rows, seven of the pearl, one of the rows, three of the pearl, and then you're looking for the outermost point of the previous diamond to stitch through. Like that. Put it through there. Okay, you see it's sort of bending round. But don't worry about that because when you have the whole thing stitched together, the weight of the uh, gemstones will actually hold it in place. So now I have three of the pearl, one of the rows, one of the pearl, and then through these lovely quartzes again. One more of the pearls. So we've got the drop and now we need to go back up. So we're going to move this one out of the way. We're going to go back through that quartz, through that pearl, through the rows and then pull it through. So this one, I'm just going to get hold of that end bead and just pull the tension slightly so that they all sit at the same height. Okay, and then I'm just going to go up this other side again. So I've got three, and one, and three. Whoops. Okay, and then that's going to go up through that one and all of the, the uh, previous pearl coloured ones. Excuse fingers, like that, all the way up to the top. And if I've got time, can I just can I just do that one again so they get the ideas? Because it's basically it's repetitive, but it's just so you, so you get used to. <laughs> I'll keep I'll keep going then. Shall I carry on? <laughs> okay, so I'm just copying the pattern. Once you've got one of them made, you are literally using it like a template, template so you can copy it as you go. So the pearl one, 
three of the rows, look for the outermost point of the previous uh, diamond. I'm going to have to pick it up, sorry. Try not to get my fingers in the way too much. And then three more of the rows. One of the pearl. Am I still in shot? Just about. Mm -hmm. Well. And then one, two, three, four, five. Feed those on. And then one of the pearls. One of the larger quartz. A pearl one. And then three of the rows. And then you loop back up on yourself again. So, pop those in there. Remembering those three are going to make your little um, point at the bottom here. You just go over the top of those, through the pearl, and all the way up to the previous white one there. Pull this through. Hold the, If you need to adjust the um, tension, again, hold the bottom few beads and just give it a little wiggle and it pulls it back up again. So I'll just get back to the top here. So I've got one, two, three. One is the middle point. Three, and then through, and exit out of the pearl colour at the top. And it really is a game of repetition all the way along beyond that. So I'm happy to keep going if you want me to, or I, I can leave it there and tell you about the, the um, earrings or whatever you want to do. Wayne says. He's saying moving on because it's We starting. do need to move on. Okay. It's I'll start stop there. by so time. So yeah, basically repetition from that point. Repetition. Yes. Repetition. <laughs> um, thank you so much for showing us that. That's I absolutely right. love that design. And as we say, you just keep going on and then you yeah. created this beautiful necklace. I can, I can show you, yeah. Yeah, the do side you mind? Have you got it? Yeah. If I, if I turn it round so you can see the, the side. We got it. Okay. So all I've done is I've made a little loop of the rose gold beads around the existing um, pearl coloured ones and then you, you just pass your thread through a few times and tie it off and then at that point you can add on jump ring and chain or whatever you like. So it's as simple as that and because, because they're lovely, um, you know, they're 11 o's so that there's, there's a lot of space to get the uh, needles through and the threads through and everything. Mm -hmm. So. It's up to you what kind of clasps you add. You might want to do a peyote toggle clasp or you might just want to stitch on a, a jump ring. Whatever's easy for you. Thank you so much for showing us that. That's all right. I am about to do a star buy. Such a star buy, it is actually a star. Look at the beauty you are getting here in your quart. This is going to go magically in this piece of jewellery and so many more for all of you stargazers, for all of you dreamers, for all of you who like to make a wish on a star. This is yours. Star buy. <laughs> limited edition we were only able to get a few of them and you can understand why when you see just how much of an artistry we have gone to on this this is a limited edition opportunity in a cut which has taken not just any old gemstone cutter to create but actually to create something as 3D and beautiful and luminous as this and as even, remember symmetry is king, but actually doing symmetry on a gemstone which isn't technically symmetrical uh, apart from one fold line or one axis, very difficult to do. We have been able to create it here and we are bringing to you this stunning 3D beauty at a star D limited edition this is very low in stock very low we weren't able to buy uh, many at all 44 pounds and 95 pence there are a lot of individual pieces here and what I think it's up to you how you think of it but what I think I would think of these I would think of these as not 
you know, individual pieces to be worn, uh, sort of big pieces, I would think of using these as individual pendants. This is a gift for every single star in your life. These stars could be an, a reward. Maybe someone's done really, really well recently. How gorgeous would it be if you've got anyone? Maybe you're going to a nativity, like school to nativity. How beautiful would something like this be for an individual wish bracelet design or necklace design? Definitely. I'd, de I'd definitely go with necklace. I think yeah. some of the beautiful sterling you silver chains that you've had, you just yeah. need one on and I, th and I really like the idea of you're giving a gift to somebody who's been a star in your eyes. So, so as you're saying, like a reward, sometimes maybe even a memorial like of something, yeah. it's just, it, it could be like um, a gift that, that's connected to somebody who has been a star in your life and yeah. you just want to remember them. It and a the perfect time of year yeah. for that. Yeah, and, or it might just be you're saying well done to someone or you're just telling them that you think they're great. They only need one. Yeah, and that's it. To, to make and the that's statement. 12 gifts yeah. on that one Fantastic. strand. Well done. Okay, we're moving on. Wayne's got the energy. I've not got that box, babe. What is it? <laughs> Plain slices. Do you mean um, like the long shards that I showed earlier on? The bars? Are they described as bars? Is that them? Is that them? Pardon? No, not these. <laughs> oh. They look longer in the picture. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? Do you think they look different? I don't. It's these, isn't it? Yeah. That's the long one in the middle. It's definitely, yeah, it's yeah. definitely them. Yeah. <laughs> it looks longer in the recording, says Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Smaller in real life, Wayne thinks. But. <laughs> I think, absolutely. <laughs> looks, looks lovely. <laughs> you have got here 12 pounds and 95 pence on this imagine it as a collar imagine this with the kit rounds from hannah's design yeah i think that's space gorgeous. space space I mean, collar you, you could wow. still do that kind of design but with the bars in there instead so where i've got like the the larger drops there you might put the bar there instead and then have it's like a small sort of triangle of, of beads at the top so you know you've got the triangulation to, to hold them so that they sit straight yeah yeah but yeah, that look, look fantastic. That would, wouldn't it? What a collar, what a statement. Speaking of statement, if you notice oh, these uh, hoppers. Love these. Absolutely ginormous. Love them. love them, yeah. Ginormous. 16 mil, anyone? I think they're fab. You imagine them if they were pearl knotted with some, like bright red um, oh, thread or, or like something gorgeous. really, you know, striking. Yeah, nice idea. I love the idea of layering them too. Look at that. That, by the way, is not the full length. I've really twisted this at the back to make yes. it like a choker detail. I'll, I'll show you the full length of it. It is beautiful. That is such a Look statement strand, isn't it? It's incredible. Let me uh, touch this at the back. So that's the cord touching at the back. Just look. And Brilliant. check out the glow on this. Now, remember that this is um, an allochromatic gemstone. Um, so what you've got here is purity of the nth degree. And that purity, because it is allochromatic, which I'm sure we all know what allochromatic meaning, but because this is the pure version, you've got that glow that shines through this. Now, if this had taken on the mineral um, elements of, uh, you know, in its formation, then as it's allochromatic, it's going to turn into different gems. So it's going to become different colours. It's going to become amethyst or citrine or smoke quartz or whatever. But because this is the purity of purity, aka this is only made up with two ingredients, that's it. You need um, silica and you need oxide to make this purity of quartz. That's it. That's all you need. The glow you get on this is so impactful. And the fact that it is the sizeability of a 16 mil, it actually almost works like a magnifying glass. It's 29 pounds and 95 pence. Wow. 29.95. Not your closing price. Not your closing deal today. This is a significant price drop. For the sizeability of these, we do not see any gemstones. 
in this size really do we not really not often not often today though we're bringing to you all of that beauty all of that quality all of that gemstone for 19 pounds and 95 pence and you're getting 710 carats on one strand. Wow. I don't even get to say 710 carats on like your, your one meter nugget strands. No. Even then they're like 300. 710 carats. And just look, the glow on it is incredible, isn't it? It's so useful. Yeah, I mean, I, well, I, I've said before, it's like, I, I think it'd be the perfect accompaniment to the, the kit that we've just had. I mean, you don't need to use them all if you didn't want to, but personally, I would, because I'm me. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, go, I'd go for a big, bold statement um, choco, and I really love the idea of the, the graduated sizes that you're just showing. Oh, I'd team them up, I would. I'd, I'd use incredible. the uh, the seed beads from the kit as well. Mm, look at that. Work the whole lot into a choco. And don't forget too, these are going to go great with my next star buy. If I just lay that down for half a tick and stretch across over here and you grab <laughs> just about my next star buy. Look at that. Quartz like this is sometimes referred to as optical quartz because back, back in the day, they used to make glasses out of this. Now the reason that this is known as optical quartz is because it magnifies when it is of quality like this. That means it goes with everything, including this next star buy. Of course, clear is gonna go with anything, but when it's this level of purity, look how the gemstone takes on the color. See how it takes on that color? So it works perfectly with any of your gemstones because it takes on and magnifies the colors you pair with it making these a perfect pairing, but a complete antonym strand to this, a perfect pairing. This is coming up as a star buy before the end of the hour, of which we've only got 20 minutes left. Remember, if you want to spend that £35 today, you get that £5 off with the code, your treat. So um, do make the most of that whilst you can. Let's bring the 14 mil now for you. True graduation. So, 16 mil, 14 mil, I did you 10 mil in the kit and the 6 mil in the kit. So, a nice little bit of balance there. We're going straight down in price on this. It's going under 15 pounds for 540 carats worth. Different size. 14 pounds and 95 pence for you today. It's really, really... It's a really <laughs> beautiful <laughs> difference that you've got there. Have a little nosy. There you are, look at those. They work perfectly together, don't they? They really do. So step down, step down, and then maybe, as we've said, the 10. There you are. But this is from the kit, which is still available if you want it. Beautiful. And them. even if you just did, say on your opera chain, which I think we've still got some of, have we, Wayne, love? We have. We've still got some of the opera chain left. But just one of these, then one of those, then one of those. Nice long pendant. Easy peasy, job's good in. It's going to sit nicely too, isn't it? Because they're so weighty. Yeah, definitely. Fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence. A beautiful strand. I've got to move on, and this time I'm going smaller. Ah, so is this sure in between? Are we looking at an eight mil here? Looks like we are. Good bit. We've got the eight whole. Mil. The whole shebang then, haven't we? The graduation all the way down. Yeah. So we've got, these are the two from the kit, just so no one's confused. But, perfect together. That's a cuff maybe. Oh, I know. Do the really large ones, like the 16 mil, the 14 mil and the 10 mil as a necklace. And then these three together as a bracelet maybe. And if you've got that amazing amber with the three, the triple drill through, you could use these and it would magnify the colour of the Stop amber. Stop it, Anna. That's <laughs> lip ingenious. Yes, right. Go back, have a little nosy on jewelrymaker.com or just ask for the really, really big piece of amber that had the triple drill hole. That's perfect. It's, it, well, it's, it's that kind of thing isn't it you know it magnifies the color yeah we did an amber bit of a showcase a roux for you earlier on um and it, you can 
of course get involved with that um, and uh, have a little look back on jewelrymaker.com if you want to grab some of them I will let you know quite a few of them actually did sell out um, but it's always worth a, a look especially if you want faceted amber like this one that we've uh, that I've got here that's it's got that kind of faceted effect hasn't it it's just lovely really nice shaping um, so yeah this is still available if you do want to grab it but quite a few of them have um, gone but yes it would work lovely with it and um just to also let you know, my first hour of the late show was under ten pounds hour. Mm. Got some bargains in there. Four mil now. Okay. Well four mil. This is your earrings, isn't it? Yes, because you probably wouldn't want to use the big ones for the earrings. They'd be oh. uh, quite weighty. So if I did sixteen, fourteen, ten. For my necklace. Then 10, 8, 6 for my bracelet. And then these ones for my earrings. All the way down to a 4 mil. Oh, jobs are good in. So, ooh, wow, five pounds and ninety-five pence bargain town you've got there. And um, five pounds and ninety-five pence. These are diddy and dainty. I love the idea of these channel set. I think they're really gonna um you know, bring something a little bit unusual to your designs. Yeah, aren't you could they? do um, netted rope uh, necklaces as well with the with the seed beads. So you effectively you have three, um, like sets of three beads on top of each yeah. other, and then the seed beads kind of twist around them. They look fantastic. That sounds pretty magical. Mm. Um, and don't forget, if you, uh, you know, do hear any of these terms and you're thinking, oh, I like the sound of that, we do workshops here at Jewelry Maker, which you can get involved with. And also we have a wealth of knowledge on our website as well as our YouTube channel, actually. Um, so you can always grab those if you need a little bit of extra inspiration. Five pounds and 95 pence on your clear quartz. It's not long until I'm bringing you some beryl as well. Um, so if you do want to pop a colour, stay with us. You are in the right place, most certainly. Um, five pounds and 95 pence could work to you as usual now how much are we going to on these Wayne the quality on these is incredible this is my favorite cutting technique of all time and it's referred to as concave cut ah what no no sorry Wayne's just going how about we do this price Concave cut, just to let you know, to cut something like this, a simple round, from cobbing, i.e. separation, to shaping and stranding, for one, you know, about eight minutes, to do one of these, 45 minutes. It is one of the most intricate cuts, but it is because, isn't that magical? Can you see how you get that hypnotic sort of light interaction, which just draws your eye in? This almost looks like the best diamond ring you could imagine. And let me just show you too, how incredibly sizable that is. That's a proper cocktail ring, isn't it? That would make it? an amazing ring or an amazing pendant to go with any of the quartz. If you bought the, the previous strands, you'd yeah. make the most amazing pendant to go with it with that. Look at that. Oh, and you get four pendant and earrings, anyone? Look at that. <laughs> pendant and earrings we're offering to you and we've not stopped there on price. $24.95 it should be. I remember when we used to do um, these in individual boxes. Yeah. And uh, $24.95 for yeah, one of them. Absolutely. Good deal. Great deal. <gasps> Four of them oh. today. From table to coulee, <laughs> one of the most indulgent of cuts that give you beautiful, radiant, beautiful RI, you know, incredible depth of entry for $14.95. It is impossible not to like this in a way because you know when you say to someone what's your least favorite color think what your least favorite color is now i am almost positive that none of you will have gone clear because you don't think of it no. in that way do you so it's really hard not to appreciate these not to love these and um um you know you've got that wonderful quality here you've got that beauty here and it is 14 pounds and 95 pence for all four of them prong set these use your gallery wire with these oh wow yeah that would be awesome yeah and it's going to show them off isn't yeah, it yeah definitely Mm. Use your sterling silver wire. What about that diamond cut wire we've been doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's really sparkly, isn't it? Yeah, mm. perfect for these. 
plenty of you in. I'm going to leave that one with you so they don't run out. And just to let you know if there are any left, if it's 8 o'clock in the morning or you're watching on repeat and it's like 10 to 8, that's about to go up um, very, very soon. So check it out before the 8 a.m. hits. Okay, let me bring to you something big, bold, beautiful. Star by Beryl. Delicacy in tone, strength in saturation. And that is so clear when you look at it against white. You can just see the strength of it. So tonally, we're looking at baby colours, if you will. Saturation-wise, we're talking intense. These are not diluted baby colours. They are blatantly clear and obvious beryl. What does beryl say to you? What does it mean to you? Um, well, I suppose it's just highlighting pastels, isn't it? So, mm -hmm. so for me, again, it's to do with colour. Um, I like the fact that you can, t you can team them all together or you can separate them if you have particular favourites. So if you wanted to, I mean, maybe you could, you could make a, a series of um, bracelets and then they, I, I kind of call them friendship bracelets, but not in the traditional nice sense. You know, you might, you might have a couple of friends and you can make yourself one uh, in blue and another friend in peach and another friend in idea. green or, mm. you know, and then you've all kind of got the same piece of jewellery but with, with a little twist on it that, that makes it your own. Yeah, and especially you team it with all the, the, um, the clear quartz as well, it makes it go such a long, a, a lot further as makes well. Makes it go, it really does. Your graphics are about to come live. I wish you all luck. This is a very, very noticeable, dramatic strand whereby every single one of these could be that focal pendant, that starting talking point. Um, I think, as you were mentioning, you know, one for each person. Imagine pairing this with, you know, one of your quartz. Yeah. And just having one of these in the centre and the rest of these as the quartz, just guiding your eye down to them. The glow of the quartz is going to show you the velocity and strength of saturation in that beautiful barrel. It's just a gorgeous strand that you've got in front of you and we are bringing to you some of the largest pieces we have uh, on offer for one of the best prices. £29.95 is longevity. Longevity. It's a lasting gem. So remember, uh, Beryl's about an eight on the Mohs scale, between seven and eight on the Mohs scale. So you've got something very, very sturdy. You've got something very, very strong. You've got something very um, lasting here. And you've got something that has a lot of personality. I've got morganite hues on here that are salmon morganite hues, peach morganite hues, pink morganite you know they're all kind of different aren't they and that's the lovely thing of, of what Hannah was saying that these are going to give you that intrigue and interest for a multitude of different people you know your different friends who might some people might want uh, you know certain colors some people might like uh, certain sort of tones and certain freshnesses of things this is going to be perfect um, for that kind of design you have got a lot going on here and I will just say to you that um, at 29.95 I think for the amount of pendant possibility on such a highly regarded family of gemstones you cannot go far wrong with 29.95 for one individual piece actually it's incredible isn't it yeah you can make the most amazing just like um long rosary linked um necklace nice. again I'd, I'd put the quartz in between it though and then it just magnifies the colors again even more and again makes it go further well done i've got to move on because i have got more to fit in I'm going to, oh, do you know what? I picked that pendant up, but I've left it in my pocket, I think. Um, <laughs> Alison Tarry uh, worked with Gunmetal um, on uh, this lovely pendant, um, and it just looked absolutely divine. It's a very luxury finish that you get with a kind of gunmetal colour. I think it's beautiful. Um, when you're getting this kind of quality, I think you've got the opportunity to add a little bit of gravitas maybe to a design. Um, if that makes sense. Um, you have got a sensational price point here. It's coming in now. £2.95 is coming in it's for 10 metres. It's 0.6. You can see uh, all the information is written on the sticker at the front of these ones, so it makes it really clear. You know exactly what you're getting, which is always wonderful. But also, just look at that quality and colour that you're seeing here. It has got almost gravitas to it. It's got interest to it. It's It almost looks like when you... 
uh, oxidise uh, your copper actually, doesn't it? Almost. Almost looks like when you oxidise your copper and it gives you that kind of gravitas, that kind of um, pull. Let me show you the design I'm thinking of that Alison did earlier on. Pop that down there. There you go. You can see uh, this is the uh, metal that Alison used to create this beautiful design here, amongst others. Um, but I think the gunmetal works so nicely, doesn't it? it it's, it's got... It's just a bit different, actually, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, there, there's, there's something... I don't know, it's almost um, kind of historical, you know? It's like, like, a, like a treasure that's been found from, like, a, an older age. I know what you mean. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I uh, yeah a kind of... History to it. Yeah. But, yeah, your gunmetal really does go far, really does give you a little bit of a... Schnazziness. Um, <laughs> so, schnazzy. <laughs> and for 10 metres at um, 2.95, it's worth a go. Definitely. Worth Definitely. trying out. Worth giving it a go. Worth trying it out. Um, 2.95. Okay, I've got for you. Labradorite. Oh, different feel to these ones. Mm -hmm. Nice quality. Why do you think Labradorite has been voted... Jewelry Makers number one gemstone by you at home year after year. There's only been one year where this was pipped to the post. Um, why do you think, Hannah? I, I honestly think it's just because you get all these lovely sort of natural phenomenons inside them. It's, it's unusual. It's a talking point. I actually think, I mean, that, this is just my opinion, but I, I think Jewelry Maker has massively promoted this gemstone like so nationally, if not internationally. Mm. It's like all of a sudden... You see so much more of it, and I honestly think that, that our, our viewers and our um, jewellery makers mm. have uh, helped to influence that. Absolutely, because it is so popular mm. here at Jewellery Maker, but actually, walk down your local high street three, four years ago, you wouldn't have seen hide the hair of this. No, no. In high street windows, whereas now it's cropping up more. There are some big names who are working it's with it. It's appearing, isn't it? Two ninety five. sorry. I've only just computed that. Two ninety five. <laughs> this is a genuine... Wow. Okay, £2.95 for not just any old genuine gemstone, but for the genuine gemstone that you absolutely love and adore. And remember that if you love taking part in our Jewelry Maker Awards or you've never done it before, on the 31st of December, put the date in your diary, 31st of December, um, on, we have got for you the award ceremony whereby you can vote for some of your favourite uh, products, you can win prizes yourself, you can vote for your favourite design of the year, you can vote for your favourite like sterling silver and pennant pieces, there's absolutely loads and it's always good fun and it's always really exciting to see you know what, what you think and what you've been enjoying as well, so it's well worth getting involved um, if you so wish. £2.95, a gorgeous strand, what would you do with this one? Uh, well, I, I like Labradorite um, when I team it with the other colours as well. So, so I'd probably put Peridot with it. I might put something, um, I don't know, may, like maybe maybe a blue, like a lapis or something like that. Oh, nice. Perhaps an appetite even, actually, to, you know, so you get the, the different kind of um, tones of blue in there. Yeah. Um, but I, I believe in sort of the power of three with colours. So if this is your main colour, then you, you might have just like a hint of green and a hint of gold, mm. something like that. Maybe a seed bead in gold. Yeah. And I think the whole thing just comes to life then. Mm. And that gives it extra impact and oomph, mm. really. Um, speaking of oomph, you have enough given our creativity a bit of an oomph this I evening. Hope so. yeah. I hope to see Two some of Two very different kits. Yes, yeah. Wall of Fame. Yeah, Send I want to see people making their, their versions. Yeah, absolutely. When are you on next, Helen? Do you know? Um, I don't think I'm on until the uh, 12th of January. I've got oh a bit, my of, gosh. Bit, of, bit of a break, but... Uh, She'll my, be behind I, the scenes, yeah. of course. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us this evening. You've been fabulous. I'll see you tomorrow afternoon with Katie Reid. Have a safe evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, my loves. Information ...that you will need to know, from the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on, and whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So, 